Uh, Yo, welcome back. Return of the Mac. Hey. M-A-C, Moss, Andrew, Carl, episode 146. Big, big emphasis yeah. on Carl. It's like a- episode 146. <laughs> What's happening? What's up? <laughs> I know it's this got to be the greatest week of your life right now. Uh, I mean, it's one of them. You got the week. draft. You got future. No cap albums. Like no Papa. God damn! No, it's, it's been really good. For the only thing I was missing was Kodak. Well, he was on the future out. He was on no cash album too. Oh gosh! Oh, of course, shit. of course he is. He would yeah. be right. <laughs> it's only right. <laughs> I know you got. I do give him that. He do. He do be on everybody's album. Just about. Since he's, yeah, he pretty much. Like, yeah, he do be a. They be fucking with. Got to get that verse before he can't record again. Yeah, yeah, right. You, get, you never know when it could be his last. Honestly, seriously, like shit. You might be holding on to a gold mine. You never know. Um, yeah, man, it's been a fantastic week for me so far. It, it felt like it took forever to get to this point. Yeah. Because mm. uh, you know, drafting started until Thursday. Night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, man, once. I had to suffer through the NBA playoffs. Uh, uh, there was some good fuck. playoff games too. I did. I did watch a couple games. Oh, I did watch a couple games. That's what I like to hear. Who is this guy? Uh, it's it's about is, that time. Right? Basketball te- season has started. No, I didn't. But yeah, yeah November. This, for, this for me. This, <laughs> it started for you. This when I acknowledge <laughs> basketball. Like. End of April, was, early May. So is this when we start not acknowledging your takes on basketball? Is that when we're supposed to? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I know that's all the time. Yeah, I know, I know the game, like the back of my hand type shit. But what? it's just like I'll never I forget you asking us if Porzingis is. We're never gonna let you well, live that there <laughs> for the Mavericks. Porzingis, different. what was Porzingis doing? That's Playing that's for the Wizards, that's, bitch. That's, that's different. That's different. But I know the game, like when I see it, types. So. All right. We I know gave, how it's supposed to be played. We gave you too much credit. Oh, we'll get to NBA playoffs. We gave you too much credit, though, on your Raptors prediction. Thanks. Or Philly, I should say. What do you mean? You called the sweep. We were like, oh, man, looking good right now. It's oh, 3-0. Yeah. But the things change. It happened. Yeah, I told you, the Raptors, Not the Raptors were good. It's going to make an ass it. We'll get to it. Anything else from the week other than all of your favorite things being going on at I the mean, same time? I mean, it's just uh, uh, my painting my truck yellow. Either. Did you for real? No, I was just all the power. I was about to say, yo, that's I, a wild I know you thing. didn't do that shit. I know, there ain't no way you did that shit. It's all the fucking power. That shit is kicking my ass, son. Yeah, that's what yeah. everybody's yo, been saying. Allergy, I don't really have bad allergies like that, but what you do this now? year, it's different. You do now. Yo, I was cutting the grass and shit yesterday. And shit's evolving. The floor, kicking up all that pollen and shit. It got in my eyes. But my shit was bloodshot red for hours. So that, like I could barely see that's water. probably like a different thing it probably would affect a lot of people like that if that shit gets yeah. in your eyes now so. you're really out there yeah yeah that shit are they cutting it's, grass it's, and shit it's different for me now like I, I mean I gotta keep a tissue on me at all times right now keep that thing on you couldn't fucking breathe last night yeah I feel like I needed one of those machines oh man the the oxygen tank yeah yeah what is it the seat pack I believe that's Shout what it's called Lynn I don't care. know for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Yeah. That Lynn care. Like, I will eat some Vicks right now. Fuck Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't misspeak on that one. <laughs> just saying. I hear you. That sucks, though. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I just got <called> that. <laughs> Delay your reaction over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Shit. That's cool. What about you, Moss? What I do this week? <laughs> Well, I enjoyed that that nice sweep at the beginning of the week. You know, <laughs> finished them boys cleaned off. Up the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cleaned up the house. Clean, cleaned up a lot. Clean. Clean. Cleaned up the garden. <laughs> cleaned up the garden. Cleaned up the Brooklyn Arena. Just cleaned up everywhere. Oh, clean up the garden. That's good. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. <laughs> Especially this time of year, that makes so much sense. This is is what it know. is. Yeah, spring, spring Double cleanup. Conscious. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else is good though. Don't let that go over y'all head. Don't let it go over your head. Boston <laughs> Gardens for you retards. <laughs> but no, nah, it was a pretty chill week. I ain't do shit. Same old, same old. Get ready for a trip next weekend and shit. Oh, oh yeah. Setting yeah, that up. We yeah. all are going to be out there. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're going to be Take gone. Pod vacay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A separate pod all vacay. going in complete opposite we'll, directions. We'll, uh, video call at some point. Where are you going? <clears throat> going to Jay Beach. Virginia Beach. Yeah. Yeah. It was like taco a festival? festival. It was be a taco festival. Oh, shit. Which I'm I mean, thinking we might solid. not be able to go now. Because wow. we fucked up. We waited too long to get the tickets. And I didn't know shit would just be selling out. Right? That's so right. we were going to go Saturday. But then all the tickets got sold out. So all that's left is Sunday. 
Well, girl won't come back. You know, it's Mother's Day. She won't be gone all day Sunday. Damn, next week. I'm like, damn, I kind of still want to go though. You got like I love my mama, I love my mama and all, but it's like I was really day. have my mind set on going to this festival. Yeah, we do Mother's Day yeah. Monday. It ain't no thing. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. I don't know, bro. You got to slide in there somewhere. That's what I'm Drop thinking, bro. Somewhere. Might just bump taco. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> bro. I want to see what it is. It looks, sounds oh, gonna yeah, be popping. Right. It sounded cool when you <laughs> sent awesome. it to us. Yeah, but you know, hopefully we well, work it out. Like, real deal. I don't know, exotic type tacos. Yeah, they was talking about a lot of shit like lobster tacos, shrimp tacos, wild right, shit. Right, right. So Upper like, echelon you know, tacos, yeah, bro. Just, <laughs> shit, nah, this ain't, ain't no they ain't no ground beef shit. We I might, about I right might right cancel now. my trip. Rib in a taco, you know. You, you never know. You never know. I might cancel my trip. Yeah, I'm going to Taco Fest, bro. So I, I thought about once he said that I was like, man, I can switch this Myrtle Beach trip. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a move, bro. <laughs> Music, good drive. food, games and shit. What yeah. could you ask for? Yeah. See, I might use a child in that taco fest. <laughs> <laughs> they did say they had shit for kids there. I'm like, y'all selling like tequila shots and all this shit going on. This is like an adult yeah, event to me. Like, like, in Virgin margaritas for the kids. Yeah, it's uh, like more of an adult event than to have kids come. But they had kids shit for the kids too, like face painting and all that shit. So I'm like, all right. So I cool. started to give my daughter some. Uh, well, I maybe I should say this. But like, give <laughs> <laughs> a shot at tequila. No, I, was so, I was drinking some wine and shit because I cooked dinner or whatever, and it was pretty good. So I wanted some wine with it, and uh, she was like, "Can I have some?" I was like, "No, she's juice." This is small. And she was like, "Oh, I thought it was ginger ale." And I was like, "No, it's not. So you can't have it." And then that shit was kind of strong, so she had to put a little bit of wine juice in it. Oh, you're supposed to let him get a sip, bro. Right? My dad did that to me. That's why I hate beer now, like that. <laughs> he gave me a sip of some beer when I was like eight. Ruined. That shit was disgusting. Yo, I was so it's, it's just like, it is. It's, bro, yeah, it's, it's been stuck with me for life. Like, I've <laughs> never been a beer drinker like that. Oh, well, I used to knock back beers at four or five years old. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I used to love it. The way you said it, I used to knock back beers. Like, I just picture like, you sitting there as a little four year old, oh, no. just like cans oh, on the no, table. No, no. <laughs> I remember asking my dad, like, can I, can I finish this beer? And he'll be, like, passed out. He'll be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, There's no way you liked it. As a I, kid? I used, to, I used to like this a lot. That's, That's wild. I, I used to think it looked good. My dad used to keep these frosted mugs uh, in the freezer, so he used yeah. to fill that joint up and the foam hit it. That looks it looked cool. like some out of commercial. I'm like, yo, I want to taste that. That shit looked banging. It does. I tasted that shit. That shit was gross. <laughs> it was not what I expected it to taste like. Bitter. But this shit looked fire in that motherfucking icy mug. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, like, I like the taste of beer. So you gave her some? No, no, I didn't. She had, she was like, "Can I have some down?" I was like, "What the fuck?" Was she waited a few seconds? <laughs> yeah. like, Can I have some down? When she put the orange juice in it. Like, <laughs> all right, well, look, we got new equipment oh, sure, coming right. for next next uh, podcast. Yeah. So sorry, we having technical difficulties again. Hey. But uh, we got we got the mics fixed. I think we're all set now. So give us about a couple of weeks. We we bite. Yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah, so we will probably be off next week. By the way, since we're all going different places, we got Myrtle Beach, Virginia Beach. I'm going to Guatemala Beach. Not really a beach, but I'm going to Guatemala. Life. Uh, yeah, we could be gone for two weeks actually. Mm -hmm. Two podcasts. I mean. Damn. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it'll right. be through the weekend. Right, right. Um, but we'll figure oh, something good, out. Though. We'll figure oh, something good. out. I'm excited. I'm excited to go. Facts. I went bowling last night. That shit is awesome. Mm. Every single time I bowl, I have the most fun. And then I usually don't bowl again for another year you or so. Told me, bro, I would have popped out. I would have mentioned it, fun. but it was a work thing. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. It wasn't like an official thing, but it was a bunch of people from work set it up to just drop by. They reserved a couple of lanes for a few hours. Work vibes. I get it. I get yeah. Nothing wrong with that. It was fun, though. It was fun. <clears throat> drinking yeah, some Mike's Hard fun. Lemonade. That shit is Mike's Hard to get you right. That shit though, will man. get you. You can drink a couple. It's of so it's sweet, you. son. Yeah, man, that's a crazy sentence to say. He trying Mike's to flip Hard it right Lemonade. Is so sweet. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I said. Oh, Mike's Hard to get you right. <laughs> Another one. Another yes. one by you. <laughs> Can't let him go. Yeah, I thought somebody else had one this time. You and you it. even could have let it ride, and we didn't even catch yeah, it. I didn't. didn't I didn't catch it. You had to let us know. I could. We'll let it. We'll let it go now. <laughs> yeah, they were. Uh, they're so sweet. I couldn't drink that regularly, but got two or three of those in, and bowling is a blast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was having fun anyway. Yeah, but mics will sneak up on you. If we yeah, don't yeah. end up scheduling a, a real trip, 
we should at least just go bowling. Yeah, yeah. Pod bowling. Yeah. No, for sure. This shit was not I even. I hate bowling, but I'll go. You I'm hate bowling? You must not be good at it. I mean, I'm, I'm decent. I'm a decent bowler. I just, I'm just not a thing that I enjoy necessarily. I thought you used to, you used to go with us, right? I've we been, went a couple of times with the, the group. Yeah, I think we've been. Damn, I, that seemed like it would be some shit you would fuck with, just being a right. strong guy. I'm gonna just maul this shit down the lane. I mean, that's that's my technique. <laughs> you just launch that shit down the <laughs> lane. I, type I, shit. I, have no, I have no form. I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna try to break the pants as hard as I can, <laughs> right down the center, and that's my yeah. That, yeah, get a strike that way. It's either it's gonna uh, ball get strike fucking, for me. Get my fucking splits every time, just knocking the front <laughs> first three goals. I have as well too, and then you know, I, at, at that point, I'm not even trying to hit the other pin. I don't. I yeah, have no technique. I'm just gonna knock down one of the motherfuckers. <laughs> you got game off? I'm all right. I mean, I ain't played in a while. I used to play a dude go to bowl nine. Also, he got his own bowling shoes. But you know, and a you know, you know it was ball wild. Ball. Like definitely my granddad, ball. my granddad was like officially he had a bowling team and all that shit. He had the shoes on ball. Like yeah. took that shit mad seriously. Some people do. <laughs> like yeah, like, some people oh, take that shit so do. serious. Like you know, you it's like bowling etiquette. Facts. You know that shit. Yeah. Like you're not supposed to bowl and like when somebody point. else is bowling in the same like, yeah. or in a different lane. Yeah, you're not supposed to Gotta let them go. Who the fuck knows that? I think everybody knows that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I was yeah. like, oh, fucked up, man. You don't bowl at the same time. Well, oh, did I break your concentration? It's like it's like being up at bat. Anybody gonna come up and be up at bat? But, but you, no, this is you. But it's your time. Think about it. <laughs> this is different. What if I was at a batting cage? I'm not gonna tell you don't swing while I fucking swing. No, but like, like, we're in an environment. I mean, that's kind of the same thing. If you in a batting cage, nobody gonna be batting beside you while you in the batting cage, right? Yeah, they are. But they in, got in like different multiple lane. cages. Than in oh, I'm talking. Oh, I'm thinking How about the same lane. You? That's I'm thinking about the same lane. Shit together. How hard is it to wait three seconds for them to roll their ball? Some people take a while. Go. Some people take a <laughs> something, and then they gotta fucking wait for their ball to come back up and stuff. And I, I'm not. Are you gotta wait for them to like finish their whole turn no they just oh, gotta okay. go it's That's like it. they bowl and once they bowl like you go and then by the time they get their ball back like it's kind of just like a back I, and forth I guess that's stuff. fair enough but some people don't like what if they had two balls and they just go back to back real quick are they supposed to wait for you Oh, okay. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, because even if they even if they got a second ball right there, it does the thing where it like picks up and clears out the pins. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, still yeah, gotta yeah, wait a couple yeah, seconds yeah, in between. Yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess. Damn, you seem really. Upset I guess that's about fair this. enough. This etiquette is fucking stupid. <laughs> I guess that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that was all I did this week though. Little What's ball, little ball last night was fun. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. We got plenty of stuff to talk about. Facts. Let's go ahead and get into it. A lot of shit went down. I was going to lead the pod for the most part here, oh, at least God. to begin with, while we go over. Brace you tell us what was interesting about the NFL draft. Brace y'all what, what was interesting? I'm not saying there wasn't. I'm saying you tell us the oh, highlights okay. that we uh, yeah, need I mean, to know about. Look, I've been waiting on the draft for a long ass time, I feel like, honestly. but um, Since the Super Bowl ended. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, I you know, so I had it I had it uh highlighted on my calendar for sure. But I just knew it was going to be an interesting <laughs> draft coming in cuz nobody really knew exactly who was going to be the first player off the board this year. Nobody knew how many quarterbacks were going to go and when they were going to go. Um just knew it was like a kind of a, it's a talented class or whatever, but it's just like where that talent is and uh, it was a couple runs in, in the draft. Of course, the the first pick uh, was a surprising one to me. That was the Jaguars. I taking, thought that was expected. I don't. I mean, I think every leading up to it, everybody thought I think uh, Aiden Hutchinson was going to be the first off the board. Okay, That's so the I had heard from Michigan. Yeah, I had heard like back during the bowl season that he was number one. Yeah. And then once it got more into like I guess combine, combine and stuff, I started hearing that the other dude was Tavon Walker. Going. I think that was his name. Yeah, yeah. Um, he ended up going to Detroit though, right? It's a lot of hometown Hutchinson pickups. Did. Yeah, yeah. Hutchinson went to Detroit. Yeah. Um, Kayvon Walker He's was a first, monster. and I mean, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's his name. What do you think about him? I don't. I don't know. They said he had like six sacks in two years. Nine sacks in in three years. That's crazy. His combine numbers are freakers. He's like 270 pounds. He ran a four three seven or some shit like that. Shit. So get the fuck out of here. Like, he, he what? Fre- he freakers. He ran a four three. Get the. Fuck That's fucking wild. Yeah, 270 yeah, yeah. pounds. So, but, bro. That's insanity. But then, That's to scary. Me, that, that that just creates more questions for me because it's just like. Why weren't you productive? How did you not get started? You know, and speaking of, I meant to say this last week, but 
if you could do anything in this draft, you get you a player from Georgia or you get you a player from uh, Cincinnati from this past year. Because those guys are studs. It was five Georgia players that went in the first round. And stuff. So that was NFL the record, record, right? Because it was, is it all? Bama probably had it before Ohio State, one of them. Was it the record for all on the same team or all on the same side of the ball? Um, all on the same team, I think, okay. in the first round. Yeah. But they all did. Because they were on. all defenders, right? And that's another question I have for Kayvon Walker or whatever. Or I got to make sure I got I his name. I believe that's his name. Um. That's the same question I have for him, though, is you're playing with all of these studs and you only get nine sacks in three years. That is weird. That, you know what I'm saying? That so is it, weird. Oh, so he's from Georgia. He went to Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a Georgia edge, edge yeah. defender. But they had Jordan Davis on the line, uh, Devontae Wide on the line. They got uh, guys in, in defensive backfield that were good. Uh, N'Kobe Dean. Uh, Maybe that's your linebacker. answer. His defense was so loaded, he didn't have to make all the plays. But these other guys were making plays. <laughs> yeah. These other guys were like yeah. seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They literally have a, a safety named Louis Seen who was in the first <laughs> round. He, he flashed on yeah. the, on, on, you know what I'm saying? That's like a, screen. not a, I can see people looking past it like, yo, you can get anybody from this fucking defense yeah. and be good, like, because they were so great. Like, yeah, no shit, doubt, like you know what I'm saying? Number one overall is what <laughs> we're talking one. about. Like, yeah, this, yeah, I got you. This means a lot. You it's know? also the Jags that we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about yeah. the Jaguars. So that's, why I, that's why I said the Jags are going to continue to be the Jags because I feel like, uh, I don't, I think Aiden Hutchinson is, I don't know if he's like, like a super fantastic player, but I do think he's like a cultural type of player that, like, that you bring in and, like, he could change. Your cultural, especially like defensively, I guess like your mindset and stuff like that. And I think the Jags are like stuck in the same rut with a guy that they picked. Mm, uh, yeah. I don't know if he changes what they do going forward. But yeah, that was the first surprise of the draft. Um, and then after that, man, I think uh, I was just surprised to see that shit is rigged. No quarterback <laughs> went. I, I mean, I, that's the only th- once the Panthers just, got on the clock, I expected you guys. To take Kenny Pickett right then and there, or at least a quarterback. This is what I was thinking because I'm like, all right, well, I want to see where the Steelers are at. Um, well, you know, when it comes time to pick for twenty, so this is going to get get that ball start started to roll or whatever. And you guys took a tackle, which is probably a great pick. From but- what I have been seeing, like the two or three days before the draft, it started to sound more like there was no chance they were taking a quarterback. The only thing that like kind of left it open that they might is that the GM said they told Darnold they may take a quarterback. But I had a feeling that was a little bit more of like uh, them trying to dangle the pick. Yeah. To yeah. see if somebody would bite because it would have been better for us to move back and get the second or third rounder. But um, yeah, offensive line is what I was seeing was w- offensive line or defensive line was what they were going to end up going with. And then from what I've heard, that was supposed to be the best offensive it's, lineman in the it's draft. A, it's a lot of tackles that were like, that went in the first round. I think four or five of them went in like the top 15 picks. Yeah, right um, after we took one. Yeah, a it, it was a run on. And that's how the draft was. It was a, like, it was almost seemed like, uh, you know, first two picks were edge rushers. Then it was a run on tackles. Then it was a run on receivers. Um, did the three receivers' teammates go back to back to back? Um, they, did I see that, or did I see that wrong? They weren't all teammates. They played on the same team at a certain point in time. Okay. But Jamison Wilson, uh, Williams, he was an uh, an Alabama receiver. But uh, the two boys from Ohio, Chris Olave and uh, uh, Garrett Wilson, went back to back. Olave went to the Saints. Yeah. yeah. Kind of hate to see that, but <laughs> when they're they're a high draft pick, they were going to get somebody good. Regardless. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Garrett Wilson went to the Jets. And Williams, Jameson, whatever it was, went to the Lions. Detroit, right? yeah. They traded up to steal him from the Eagles. Right, right. The Eagles right, were right. trying to get up there to get that pick. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that that was interesting. I mean, I'm thinking all of these teams or a lot of these teams are going to invest in a quarterback. The Eagles made another move. Sheesh. Big moves. Big moves. Yeah, I mean, and <laughs> that was kind of the story of, of the first round, really, is yeah, that was the, crazy. the trades that were made for wide receivers uh, or, uh, you know, you got Hollywood Brown was the first to go out of nowhere. Say the Ravens trade Hollywood Brown and a third round pick to jump back in the first round at twenty three mm-hmm. to the Cardinals. I'm I, like, for real, to me, that's a steal for the Ravens. Like they they finesse the draft somehow every year and go back up 
and get what they want uh, continuously. But people forgot they traded back in to the to the draft in 2017 to pick up Lamar Jackson as well, too. So they 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 go above and beyond uh, in, in the draft to make sure that their roster is solidified every year, for sure. Good but, shit. Um, they took two linemen, didn't they? Offensive linemen? The Ravens? No, they took um, Kyle Hamilton with their first pick, which is number 14, as a safety from Notre Dame. Mm. He was really supposed to be, like, I mean, people were talking about him as one of the best players in this draft. When, the, when you see him mocks early on, they were mocking him to the, the Detroit Lions at two. Um, he ran a kind of a slower 40. Wow. He ran like a 4 six forty, but... The dude is like 6'4", super long athlete, so he can make up for some of that speed with just you know size and stuff like that. He, I think he's a good player. I hate that the Ravens got him, of course, but the Ravens are going to do Raven-like things. They're going to draft good players. So they added him to that secondary with uh, Marlon Humphrey and uh, Marcus Williams. They'll, they'll be pretty good next year, of course. They traded back up for a, a center, Tyler Lindemann. Mm-hmm. Which was supposed to be the best center in the draft. So yeah, they did get a lineman as well too. But I think, uh, like I said, that's a that's a steal for you know a wide receiver that frankly didn't work out. He, Hollywood Brown was a decent player, but if you can flip him for a, a first round pick and all you give up is a third, that's a good deal. Sound about right? Did you see what? Yeah, I think it works out for Hollywood too. He'll fit in nice with that Cardinals offense. I probably think so. so. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably so. so. I, I don't, there's a lot of college guys that I don't, I just watch random college football and I don't pay attention to the draft like you do. So there's a lot of guys that I just don't, I didn't know where they went to school. I didn't realize he was an Oklahoma dude that played with Kyler, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I, I know he played with Baker for sure. Not sure if, I'm sure Kyler was there, yeah. but I'm not, I don't think they played together, um, uh, that season. I'm, I'm, but maybe, maybe they probably did though. I can't remember. They're apparently boys, and I was seeing stuff talking about the Cardinals are doing everything they can to keep Kyler, except for giving more money. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll go get your boy. You can play. With it seems like they got fleeced to be. Like, why would you do that? I mean, I, you could have just drafted a wide receiver. At, at, for, for somebody who's not like a proven commodity, yeah. Hollywood Brown isn't that guy. You know what I'm saying? So why trade for him? I mean, they already got that guy, but maybe it's just another piece. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, D-hop. Only they yeah, needed another a, that guy. I don't hate it because <laughs> it's an odd move. For, somebody, for your first round pick, though. Yeah. You yeah, gotta yeah. think about that. For your yeah. first round pick. This is what you probably would have did for the first round for sure, but you know, hey. I hear you. That's what it is. Well, what, what do you think about the big trade? Um, AJ Brown? Yeah. Uh can you do you have the details of that trade? I forgot exactly what I it don't. was for. I, uh, let me I pull it up. I, I want to say they just... It, uh, it was the... They gave up the first, obviously. Yeah. Titans trading A.J. Brown, of course, to the Eagles. Let me see what the trade was for. And the Eagles though. ended up paying them, though, right? Oh, they yeah, they... So they, this must have been in the works for a little bit. They gave him four years, $100 million, like, shortly after the trade happened. Right, right, right. Which makes sense. Like, you wouldn't trade for the guy that's about to go into free agency next year They're without knowing that you're going to be able to keep him long term. Not a first round. Yeah, pick. I mean, it just shows that they're willing to get wide receivers the fuck up out of here. But, oh, yeah, of course, the, the Eagles ended up paying him. I, I can't find the details of uh, what the trade was exactly. But uh, they, they're giving him a four-year, $100, $100 million deal. It's probably close to that, straight guaranteed. up, right? Probably yeah, close so. to just first rounder for him. Probably so. I would imagine. Probably Might be so. an extra later round pick or something. Yeah, because, I mean, A.J. Brown's a stud, man. Mm-hmm. Facts. That dude's a beast for real. Facts. Uh, when you get him, he, he, he can do it all on the field. You can give him the ball anywhere. He's good after the catch. Uh, he got strong hands. He's shorthanded. Him and Devontae so. Smith, oh, my God. That's well, going to be crazy. No, but this is what the Eagles. <laughs> a roster. That's going to be I crazy. I understand it from the Eagles' point of view with, with this. I just don't really like, you, you know, you having to give up. You know, or your first round pick and having to play, yeah, pay a player. Million, but, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just a lot for me for a wide receiver. Um, Especially with all the guys that they, were going. They swing and miss so much on wide receivers. <laughs> like, with the Eagles. It's certain franchises. Give me that, that proven, that. dude. So I, I get that from that standpoint, just to get a solidified or, or you know, um, a real deal guy in the room. Because, I mean, Devontae Smith's okay, but um, I don't think. I don't know exactly how good he's going to be in the NFL at this point. The bar for having a great rookie season is so high because of Jamar Chase <laughs> that you just 
Anything Devontae did That's last year Won't go even Come nowhere well, close no, I mean, it's, it's a lot of rookie receivers That come in And just automatically A beast Justin Jefferson You got Terry McLaurin it's a, it's Yeah I'm saying Like when you got guys yeah, That do shit like that It's like It's odd I mean cause it's still Their rookie season you, you shouldn't expect him to come no, in and have right. one of the best seasons. Right, no, it. But you know, still a building block. I mean, yeah, I think he, had a, he had a decent year. He, yeah. wasn't, he wasn't bad. Yeah, he was good. He was and decent. 900 he yards. Yeah, yeah he, was, he had a good, good record. 900 season. yards, five touchdowns. I mean, they got the extra game in there as well. So yeah. I guess I mean, that's he, a little yeah, bit. He, that's he, a he good rookie bad. season. I thought, I thought he looked really good when, when I watched him play. Yeah. So like, just say how good he's going to be, pretty much. Not that he's not good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how he's good. I hear you. So I get that you make that move, but you see what the Titans did. They trade away this dude. They they get an asset back, whether it's a first round pick, and I, I assumed it was. But they use that pick to draft the the guy who was comparable to AJ Brown. This Traylon Burks from uh, I think he's from Oklahoma as well. But um, dude, dude is pretty much they. I'm not gonna say the exact same player, but comparable. They play the same kind of game. Yeah. And we'll just see if he can do that at the next level. I did see them showing the highlights, and it looked like he looked like AJ Brown running. Right. He, looked <laughs> like, exactly he really like like looked like him. <laughs> but that's like that's what I'm saying. Like the wide receiver position is so fungible that way. Like uh, people mm. say that about draft word. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I got it from the draft, but you had to because I've never heard that word, and and you were you've really? been so tuned into no. That's draft. what N- NFT means. I've heard it. Non fungible. Yeah. I mean, I guess I, I, I didn't know it from that. I thought of that as like a different word, but I fucked up your whole flow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You did. <laughs> Go ahead. My <laughs> bad. But no, I, people say that about running backs. Like, oh, they're the most yeah. fungible. But I don't believe, I think wide receiver is. Like, they're the most fungible so position. More. It's so many. They're a dime a dozen type player. And it's like, look, it's just look how many come out in yeah. the draft. Well, I, I say this about running, because you can get a guy who can tote the ball. But it's it's hard to find the guys who can do everything. Like you can leave them on the field, type thing, and like you can say the same thing shit. about wide receiver to a certain extent. But it's I don't know. It's just so many of those guys now. Um, I feel like so. Yeah, big big surprise there. I thought it was a great move by the Titans. I've heard they were offering twenty million a year. He wanted twenty five. I mean, I think I think it's good when teams have that number in mind. Set the cap. This, yeah, is, get this is what we can do. We make you a good Stick offer. It's guns. not like it's a disrespectful offer. They offered a good amount. He wasn't feeling it. Let's move on from this twenty-five million that he's looking to cost us. Get a replacement right away that we think can be as good, and we can train him up or whatever. I think it's a good move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not mad at it. I think it's uh, like you said, it was a solid move for the Titans. It's a smart organizational move. I, I just don't get you don't. You can't pay those guys top of the market value. What is set at today? If you think you're gonna a build your money. team at the same time, it's, just, it's hard to do it. You gotta, you pretty much gotta hit on all of your draft picks now. Right. That's how you have to play it. Every single one of these has to, um, you know, be be great uh, or at least a, a serviceable player, and that just doesn't happen uh, right. in most drafts. But uh, then, of course, after all of this, hurrah! And all I this, legit uh, forgot stuff. about this part. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what else happened? I was, I was waiting on it. <laughs> After all of this hoorah, the real excitement Long happens. Long lead up. The, the real excitement happens, and uh, the steel is on the clock. Franco Harris comes out. This this is the only only uh, like guest announcer they had. Roger Goodell, Goodell announced all the picks, except for when Franco Harris comes out. And, uh, I've seen a lot of people come out. I've seen they had Merrill come out. I think that was in the, the second round. Oh, no, that was the yeah. second round. Oh, last first night. Round. Last night I they think always all have somebody picks, else right? do. Goodell normally does all the first round picks or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, Franco got Franco ranked. wasn't the only one. Who he wasn't? Who else did? Whitworth. I know it's out there. Andrew Whitworth for the Rams. Oh, maybe. Maybe. You I know, he, right I know he did that. that. I didn't watch right enough of the other picks, yeah, but I yeah, just want to right tell you you're that. wrong real quick. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's cool. I'll tell us it. about the pick, man. Fuck Franco Harris. Yeah, so the Pittsburgh Steelers on the clock. No quarterback has been taken at this point. Not a single Shadow. one in Shadow 20 quarterback. fucking picks. In 20 picks. That's nuts. I've never <laughs> seen this happen before, and I didn't expect this was going to happen. So now... I, w- I was almost sure who the Pittsburgh Steelers was going to draft if, if it came or if it fell a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like Kenny Pickett was off the board, Malik Willis was off. I was sure who they would get at that point. But with all of them all out there, I didn't know. I didn't know why sure. Nobody wanted these bum-ass quarterbacks. 
I guess not. We we'll, we'll, we'll can talk about that. <laughs> Apparently, it's wild. Man. Um, but they the the selection is is Kenny Pickett, hometown from kid. Pittsburgh. So literally, instead of going uh, into work and or you know, well into the facility and taking a right, he'll just go to the into the facility and take a left. And it's funny because like Pittsburgh does this thing with all their rookie draft picks. They they show them the city and stuff like that. And show them where, you can't do anything with that dude. I don't know what the fuck they got to make up something new <laughs> for him. Was he from there even before Pitt? No, no, he was from New Jersey. I think. Gotcha. Yeah, but he's he's been there in Pitt for five years now. So right. He's from there. Yeah. Um. Second home. Yeah, but I, like I said last week. Kenny Pickett was the best quarterback in this draft class, and I don't think it was necessarily close. People can argue upside all day. Um, I don't know if you can measure that, but uh, when I see him, I, I, I look at, uh, I, I mean, I, I see like a Derek Carr type player or uh, Tony Romo ish. That's that may be his ceiling. So uh, hopefully, you know, he can he can he can max out and and okay. uh, be the player we need. Y'all, yeah, you know. Y'all ain't give in to all the Malik craze. I'm glad y'all was like, nah, fuck it. We going for Pickett. It, it's like, yeah, it's made well, sense. Like, y'all could have like buckled they, like, we can kind of ride with Malik, but, but uh, Pickett's still people, out there. <laughs> nobody would know more about Kenny Pickett than the Pittsburgh Steelers. Right, right, right. Like literally, it's like almost impossible. You see this dude pretty much every day. You've seen him grow up. So it's like, it's, it's the really the quote unquote safer choice out of any of them is because you know this guy's work habits you, you got all the intel that you could possibly need you've seen him practice probably on a daily basis as well too so uh, I think it was a smart pick fun fact this is the first time in NFL history that a quarterback has been drafted at number 20 I, I wasn't as fun as I was hoping it would be oh it's That's a fact, fact though it's a fact it is a fact I was wondering I why it. Mike Tomlin doesn't want a black quarterback. Could you answer that? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, uh, some people, I've seen those memes. It's like a competition thing. It's I've like seen, a, I've only seen one those, of us around here. Memes going around. He's had black quarterbacks before mm. on his roster. They, they By choice? Started, yeah. yeah. It's been plenty of them. RIP. It's my stuff. Yeah, he's had at least one every year. <laughs> Michael Vick played for Mike Tomlin. He mm. did. He did. And won some games. Mr. 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 Rooney made years. that happen. It wasn't about Tomlin's <laughs> choice. <laughs> But yeah, and uh, I, knew I you mean, were excited. I was, well, I really did. Like, I almost felt a little bit bad how much I wanted them to not take a quarterback just to see you lose your shit. Yeah, really? Like, I was like, yeah, we're supposed to be friends. I shouldn't want it this bad, but I do. That would have been, been hilarious. Oh my God. It would have been so <laughs> it funny. Just surprised me. I or if they would have got Ritter him. since you specifically said you didn't yeah, want yeah. him. That was really what I was hoping for. I wouldn't have been mad at it because I, I, I really trust the Steelers so much. I was looking back and like Kevin Colbert got like a 70% draft rate in the, in, in the, uh, first round, which is well above average. The average is like 50. So, um, I, I mean, anything they do in the first round, I trust it. So, you yeah. know, hey. It is what it is, but what can you do? I, I was surprised alone that it was Kenny Pickett, though. I was I really? knew it was going to be a quarterback, but I was surprised that it was Kenny Pickett when hmm. they announced it. I thought they were going to draft Malik Willis, honestly. For real, I kind of I don't know. I didn't. I yeah, thought I, I thought Pickett made. I, I felt like Malik would have been the wrong pick. The fact that the other ones were still out there. Pro- I mean, honest. probably so. I mean, <laughs> Malik. I feel like Malik was just like, all right, we know these guys going to be gone, so we're going to go with and stick with Malik. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and the they won, it was like, well. At a Sorry. point, Steelers are never <laughs> at a point where they're like, we want to wait and see type thing. They're like, Mike Tomlin has never had a losing season. He's not going to start <clears throat> with no, he wants somebody who can play right now type thing. You yeah. Know, at the same time. So, uh, so what's that mean that for your guy? I mean, I need somebody that, that can play right now that you signed the quarterback going to Mitch. Going, yeah. Went completely blank. It's an open competition. May the best man win. I think, um, I mean, we'll just see where they're at. You know, if if Mitch is not very good and Kenny can't beat him out, then I think that's probably like if we see Mitch on the field and he's not very good, and we realize that Kenny's not the num- the starting quarterback or the number three or number two quarterback, I think that might be an issue because he should at least be better than that. But if Mitch is balling then and, and and he has to sit, then you know it is what it is. What hopefully. You know, he comes in and does his job and, and starts, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out, but it's an open competition, though. So we'll see. Um, I feel you. but hey, like I said, the, this quarterback draft class was crazy. The next quarterback didn't go off the board until pick 76. Sheesh. Third round, right? 
Third round, Malik Willis to the Tennessee Titans. Titans. Negative. No, Ritter, oh, sorry. Ritter, 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 Ritter went to the Falcons at 60-something. Yeah, it was, it was only it's a couple still in the third different. round, though. Yeah. Um, that's nuts. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just, just a huge gap. Yeah, that's a lot. There. And really, like, the, that's just something you never see is, uh, you know, that few quarterbacks. You guys got one. Macaron. Yep. What are your thoughts? If they're bad, then fuck you. If they're good, I, I believe told you, you. I thought I told you I like Mike Corral. I don't remember. Probably. Well, last week. I thought, I mean, he got the quickest release I've ever seen in my life. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know how good he is, like, as far uh, as, like, chucking the ball down. Relax the on field. that part. Relax <laughs> they, on that. He got, but he has a strong arm, though. Like, Hell yeah. whenever he Super throws the ball, arm. that shit gets there in a hurry. Um, I got and, and he's athletic. He's a tough dude, too. Like, he, Motherfucker's a tough little bitch, and he, whoa, he's like, whoa, "Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow!" Watch your fucking <laughs> mouth. Little, Watch your fucking he's mouth. Little. I mean, he's not like you he call him like small a, if that's factual. But, but he's don't, not, don't be he's saying like bitch. Six two, but he got like a slender frame. Six two is small. Relax, son. I'm just saying, like, tough, relax, he's a, he's, he's a tough. Wow. He, he's sorry. He's a tough guy. <laughs> he's a right. tough guy, Back. and uh, he's got like some cockiness to him as well, too. Yeah, I, I got hyped today he, when they were talking about they said this dude has got teammates that run through a brick wall. He's a dog. I was like, oh, all right, I'm in. Oh, Bad. yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> That's I'm all <laughs> Matt Corral, I, I like him. I like him. I think he, he'll he fit in well. I, I, I see him today. beating out um, uh, Donald. Give Donald. him the job today. Yeah, I, I mean, I see him. Might as well. Like I said, he's, he's athletic. He can throw the ball. He can run an RPO game and stuff like that. I, I think he's going to be really good, honestly. Once we didn't make a trade up to the second round to get one of the quarterbacks, I kind of thought that was a pretty set guarantee that we were making the Baker move and but the just, guys were just riding it out for them. next year. So once they got to the third and it was like, damn, all of these all next, of next three there. are still all available. I'm happy with you. you know, I just, I just want anybody. It's but still Donald. a bunch of quarterbacks that are available. Like Sam Howell was supposed to be the first guy yes, off I, of the USC, right? Yeah, he yeah, was man. supposed to be the number one pick coming into this year. Yeah. Heisman favorite and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. So I remember that he still hasn't been taken at this point. Um, and there's some other guys like Carson Strong um, and some other quarterbacks as well too. But I just never know when that they, when they'll actually end up going at this point. But mm-hmm. like I said. It's, been an exciting draft, though, I thought, or I think. Sound about right? Yeah. yeah. What'd, what'd you guys get, boss? <laughs> oh, we was the next pick after y'all, and then we traded that shit. No, I seen y'all <laughs> trade that shit. traded that shit to the team. Y'all, y'all didn't have a first round pick. We did. We had a 21st pick. It was this pick after y'all. We traded I'm, that no, shit. That wasn't from did. the Chiefs, or you traded it to the Chiefs? We traded it to the Chiefs. We traded it to the Chiefs. We traded back to the 29th. And then I think whatever y'all got from the Chiefs in that deal, you traded to us so that we could get into the third round. I'm pretty sure I saw that that came. Bill Bill won't fuck with the draft, bro. I mean, he does, but I think he he goes by your mentality. Like, like last year was like an anomaly because we needed a quarterback. So it was like, now I'm going to just do what I do. I can get the guys I want lower in the draft. We got a center. We got a center. Um, What's his name? Strange. Cole Strange from Chattanooga. It's like he be going to the fucking trenches to find my <laughs> Did you see the clip of the Rams when uh, they found out about that pick? No. What's his name? I'm going to play on the coach's name. Oh, uh, Sean McVay. Sean McVay. McVay. And I guess, I don't know, it was the GM or whatever. They're having like a draft party. So they're watching everything live or something. Yeah. Sean McVay looked like he was many drinks deep. And they said something about the pick. They asked him about the pick. And he was like, he was laughing his ass off. He was like, well, I thought we had work to do because we were looking to take him in the third round. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. They were talking that shit. You got to watch that clip. And y'all got to start a rivalry now. That's funny. I mean, hey, get your shit off. I didn't funny, know who the fuck he was. It was funny. But, you know, a lot apparently, of apparently we need, they, we need, they, we want to center. He's a guard. Three, you're not going to know who the fuck they are. Apparently we needed a guard. I mean, our line, you know, trying to build that shit back up. I ain't mad at it. Did what we had to do. We got a receiver the second pick, though. Round two. Oh, yeah, y'all got Thornton. Yeah. Uh, Taekwon Taekwon Thornton, Thornton from Michigan. Speed Demon, 4 2 40. Taekwon yeah, got to be fast. Like, they speed. Thought he, they thought I like he speed. broke the record at first, but then they did the official time <laughs> shit, and it was like 4 2 7. Oh. Uh, dude, dude got like real demon type speed. I'm kind of hyped by him. You can't, you can't teach speed. You got a guy like that can speed like that. He can make some plays. I'm, I'm looking forward to that guy. See what he does. No doubt. But there's Definitely been a lot of fast motherfuckers that come off the draft. And <laughs> That's, That's true. true. But I think we'll fit him in now. We'll get him in position to make some plays. Where did he go? Which, uh, uh, Michigan State. Michigan State. Yeah. yeah. 
No, he went to Baylor. Oh, you right. Went to Baylor. Right. I got the game. Saw green. Dog green, yeah. <laughs> yeah went to yeah. Baylor. Speak did the, did the uh, Michigan State running back get taken anywhere? What was that? What was I don't know what his name was. Running back has he not been a, a strong monster. class, though. So, right. they, they, so I think the, it's only been like a few running backs that went off the board. But so that Brees Hall went to the Brees Jets. Hall. And then somebody went team. earlier before him. It might might be the guy that you talk about, but I didn't really look at a lot of running backs this year either. So, since. Yeah, but I'm on, man. I think we got a cornerback after that. Pieces that I knew we needed a receiver and a cornerback for sure. He said his cornerback supposed to be like like that. He supposed to be a baller. Marcus Jones from Houston. He said he's supposed to be pretty like that. But we'll see. We'll see how the season goes. I ain't mad at the picks. Bill does what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Kenneth Walker taking 41 by the Seahawks. And that was the dude that you talked about. Yeah. About. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah. I remember that. Like somebody he had like earlier. a five or six touchdown game against like a legitimate I think, Big Ten opponent. I think somebody compared him to Jonathan Taylor. Man, probably. Saying like that is very Quick, similar. Strong. To, yeah. Yeah. Strong, fast dude. Uh, Good like, combo to have. Yeah. Again, I just, that's why I just don't think running back is as like a fungible as position as people say, because it's, you can't find a, I mean, I say that, but when we talk about a guy compared to him, we'll see how he does it in the NFL, but a guy who can like control the game for 30 carries. They don't grow on trees necessarily. They just yeah. don't. We only know a few running backs in the game that could do that, and like eat up clock. I think it just really depends on the team, the franchise, and what they need. Yeah, I mean, I know Bill doesn't like conform to that that thinking. Yeah, we keep like a, four or five on deck and he, ready to go. And you never know which one he's going to use <laughs> exactly, primarily, or which two or three he's going to use mm-hmm. for this game. So I get that as like a game plan and. Like I love that shit. Type thing. Cause somebody gets hurt, you know, somebody can just step right in and make plays. Yeah, I like, I, that. I like the idea of just like keeping somebody on the field. And, I don't know. But yeah, but you know, injuries ha- injuries happen. They, they so you know, you do. gotta be prepared for that shit. You gotta have them. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's mostly it for the draft so far, I guess. Um, oh, oh, uh, second round Steelers drafted uh, George Pickens. From Georgia. Oh, y'all with the pickings and the pickets, huh? Uh, they, yes. <laughs> but I was calling that shit. I was telling shit. I was like, yo, we got, we're going to draft George Pickens in the second round. Because, hmm. I mean, I just thought he was the best. Really, he's the top five wide receiver. And I think, you know, people. Oh, another receiver. Yeah, people will realize that pretty, pretty quickly. It's going to be picket to pickings a lot for the next uh, four to five years. I uh, assume it'll be. I already right, see the market in already. Pick it to pick it. Pick it. Cause honestly, I was like, that's the only way. He gets picked off. <laughs> no, yeah, right. But see, that's I didn't funny. want, I didn't want that kind of like, I knew people were going to have a play on words with that, with Kenny Pickett's name. Like, oh, if, if Kenny throws oh, it, the other team sure. will pick it type for thing. Like, sure. I, it's I, too I, easy. But when you, <laughs> then when you insert Pickens in there, it's like, now I, they got a little good little symmetry between right the for two. the pickings. <laughs> it's, it's too easy. They're yeah. gonna kill it. He has one bad game. They're There's gonna so go many. off with those. It's so many. But I think but it is what it is. It's gonna be a, a good duo here going forward. Hopefully uh, for the Steelers. But yeah, I mean that's that pretty much wraps up the draft talk. I think um, nothing else went down. That was that don't have super anything. amazing. I mean, that was good. Is it good playoff stuff. time? Playoffs. Hmm? NBA playoffs, baby. Round one got wrapped up this Finished week. Finished it up. You know what I'm saying? Bunch no games, games tonight is retarded. No Just want to get that on the record. Yeah, but. I told you, you know, we got to appreciate that first round wrapped, while I was here. Yeah, wrapped up a series <laughs> last night, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, start with four of them in the last two days. Let's start with your boys, though. Hey. Let's start with your boys. <laughs> My God. Cooking them. Cooking what them. It started, it started Saturday because after the pod was the first game, right? Yeah. It was the it third was game. game. Three or whatever. Got them up out of there in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was still talking. It was, it was fun to me to watch. I think, yeah, Tatum put up 40 in that game three, 39, exactly. But, um, it was fun to see like every game that we win and people were like, Oh, KD, here come KD about to have one of them games next. It's about to have one of them games. It was like, I'm like, all right. All right. And he did kind of have one of them games in game four. I think he went for almost 40. Yeah. <clears throat> he, but he balled out pretty much, but it was like, it won't enough because we, it won't enough. Did you feel like it y'all were enough. getting still disrespected after the first two games? I did because I kept just hearing about, oh, Katie, about this. I have one of them yeah. games. I kept hearing that. 
I kept hearing that. That's just a prediction. I was on that like, too. Like it was inevitable that he was going I mean, yeah, to get back to. Yeah, y'all was calling it too. Form. Every day y'all say, "Oh, where's he going to Brooklyn? Y'all going to lose?" Like, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> that's my point right now. Is I think it was two different things. Saying KD's going to have himself a game because he was getting relatively shut down the first two. Yeah, and saying that they were ever going to have a chance to win is completely different. Okay. That's why I didn't. I didn't feel like y'all were getting game, disrespect. Game three, he had sixteen team. again. <laughs> yeah. So it was still like the same thing, and that was in Brooklyn. After it went too well, I think y'all started getting the respect that was deserved. But yeah, it was a beatdown. We yeah. did. What we had it to was, do. I mean, yeah, it was. It was so much fun. Again, we had to do. Again, this is. It's a terrible moment for Katie. I know you guys don't think so, <laughs> but it is so bad for his legacy. I say this. It was a good thing that he did put up, well, I think, like 39 in the fourth game. Cause if he had four straight games of barely getting 20 points, that would look a lot bad. I mean, it still looks bad, just the performance as a whole. He wasn't good. But like, I mean, to only have one out of the four games where you really got your shit off, kind of, it's like, all right. At that's no not point good was look. he the best player on the floor. Well, no, because the best player on the floor was always the Celtic. Yeah, yeah right, the whole right. series. Yeah, we, yeah. we wasn't. That, and the, but that's what we. Expect from I mean, I guess game one, Kyrie kind of went crazy, but they lost still. Yeah, they almost forty two. Both of them had forty games. For game one and game four games that you know we still won. <laughs> All I'm saying is it, it just it's a terrible look for him. Um, again, or uh, one of them things where it just makes you question: Why would you ever leave Golden State? Uh, just I mean, silliness. And, and, and that, um, it's all in perspective. And I feel like he did what he had the to nerve, do. But then after that, you have the nerve to go in there and, and respond to a bunch of people's tweets who are talking shit about you for getting swept. What do you expect? Seems on par. Dude, what do you expect? Yeah, this, this is what he KD. does. I don't, I don't, like right. This does. is what you do at this point, but grow up. Like, I, I, that, that, that type of shit or behavior, I think, is. Oh, you think it's childish to go on Twitter? For him to be responding to all this shit, like this comes with your territory, dog. You're Kevin Durant, like you should. Well, it was it was mainly just Chuck, right? It was Chuck he and Stephen A. I think. He okay, did get Chuck. Stephen so, A. was going in <laughs> as usual. Yeah, yo, I I swear, if there's two games on at the same time, and one of them is the TNT game, and it goes to halftime. I don't watch the other game during halftime. I would rather watch the TNT. Fact, halftime. That's just so a show. Those Fact, guys bro. are so fucking good. It's ridiculous. Yeah, great but they got on to the, uh, the championship talks and stuff, <laughs> and they were giving KD mad shit about if you're not the bus driver, you can't yeah, talk like driver. you are the guy. And they were saying, you know, Steph was the bus driver on the, the Warriors championships and stuff. I kind of disagree with that. I still think Katie was the best player of them two years. He was hands down the best player, but was he like the engine necessarily that, that fueled them? Probably not. What are we talking about? Different parts of the bus? Are you the engine or the bus driver? <laughs> yeah. Like, what are we doing right now? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But it's, I think uh, so if he was the best player on the team, I feel like he was the best player on the team. He was Rosa Parks. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with you that he was the best player on the team in that, that season or two, whatever it was, yeah. but. I think like the conversation they were having is like, whose team is this? Right, right. And right. it's kind of the same thing where I think you would I make the that. case that LeBron was the best player on the Heat team, but it was Dwayne Wade's team. Where it, when you joined somebody else, it was it's Steph's team, and KD was a part of it, and okay. obviously right. deserved. When you look at Dwayne Wade, regardless of any other jersey that he's ever wore. He's a Heat. He's he Miami that's Heat. Who you Miami think of when you fucking think of Heat. Heat. Yeah, we don't even know Wade County. Right, right, right. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> right, for sure. <laughs> Right, it was just, it was just <coughs> different there. I think, but it is what it is. Like I, I understand KG taking offense to that. After you get swept, I don't think it's a good look to go on yeah. there defending yourself or trying to take it's, shots at, at Chuck. But you know, it is what it at is. At the same time, I still like. I think people were just not admitting to that we were just a better team. Like I know I they had Katie and Kyrie, but they just won a better team than us all together. Yeah, and in no play point. in the playoffs. You can't just rely on your stars to give you 40 and the rest of the team just doing whatever. I think one game, Bruce Brown led them in, in, um, yeah, points yeah, one like game. a 27 point. It game. was like, I hope Bruce Brown leads them in scoring every single game. Right. Yeah. That's exactly what I want to happen. <laughs> like, cause that means we shutting down the guys that can give it, give them 40 or whatever. And it just showed every single game. Like, even when they got up a little bit, you never felt like we was ever out of any game. 
we had control, we had poise, we did what we had to do, made runs when we needed to, and made a lot of defensive stops. Defense did what they had to do. They've had a fucked up construction of their roster ever since they made the James Harden trade. I agree now. And I've been on that for a long time, but they gave up so many pieces to get one that if it doesn't work out, which obviously we saw now that it didn't, yeah. they were fucked. If yeah. it did work out, it was still going to be a difficult run, but it would have been a little bit different story. But once they gave up so many uh accessories to the the main objects, it was yeah. they were in trouble. And then once that didn't work and they had to get rid of him, and the big piece that they get in return is Ben Simmons and his bitch ass refuses to play, mm-hmm. you're even more fucked. And I know Nash has gotten a ton of shit. I think a lot of that stuff is from people that don't really know what they're talking about. They're trying to like talk about his rotations and shit that I don't think most fans actually know what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they didn't get it done, but I just don't think he's ever had, he hasn't had the pieces to properly go on a run. And y'all look like the best team in the East right now. Yeah, you can the, heat, the Heat are, are legit too. I think that's going to be the the next round matchup. Right, but and it's going to be a great game. Right, no, play the come Bucks. on. Right, you yeah, I'm saying I think yeah. both of y'all are going to move forward. Hopefully, I, I think mean, that's the Eastern Conference. Bucks and the Heat are the two main teams I was worried about in the Heat. In the Heat, nice. I mean the to East. Get them against <laughs> each other, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I wasn't going to say. Well, no, y'all play the Bucks. Yeah, we play Bucks tomorrow. I, I was thinking they played each other. Yeah, yeah the Heat plays That's the Sixers. Series, was that something we got to talk about? Because they didn't beat shit. Yeah, for sure. But um, we did what we had to do. Ready for the next round, and we're looking looking right on part where we need to be right now. Especially going to the Bucks, the defending champs. You know they're gonna bring it. Yeah. Giannis gonna come with it. We got to figure out a way. What's the name? To, uh, to how long him. is Middleton out for? They say he might miss this whole second round. Right, so I, I think it was gonna be yeah. Right. I know some people don't think that's a big loss, but I do. Um, it is. And those people are wrong. Yeah, that's that's. that's he's that's not huge. on that tier of these other teams' as seconds players. Like when you talk about good at what he does, man. Yeah. He's perfect for what they. But at the same he time, can, he can defend and shoot. Grayson Allen and Bobby Portis. Yeah, they they, they, they would come well. right in the mode and give give what Middleton would give. A yeah, little bit. but when you're playing the best defense <clears throat> in the league, right, 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 yeah, like, right. That's true. You can try to supplement it with these other players. And I do think both those guys are really good, but yeah. it's going to be very different them trying to do what they were doing against the Bulls yeah. to against y'all. That's true. It's going to be totally different. Facts. Grace now is probably going to get Bulls can't play down. no defense. No, not at all. <laughs> Last thing I want to say about the KD stuff, I understand what you're saying. It is a terrible look to get swept in the first round. No doubts about that. Facts. I think it's just a, I think it still is just a in the moment thing. There was moments that if we look back now to like six years ago, seven years ago, where LeBron got knocked out of playoff series that he wasn't supposed to, quote unquote, if you're the GOAT kind of thing. Yeah. And back then the conversations were like, this is, this tarnishes his legacy. Yeah. And sure, it maybe he did in that moment, but the next year when they go on a run, it's like, oh, okay. No, no, he's still LeBron. Right, right. I think yeah. that happens next year with it's the Nets. The, Nets is still He's a fairly still new team. This is a new team in the, the last two seasons that you stay still but figuring shit out. Swept is, is different. <clears throat> it is, but y'all, I don't think you're supposed to be. It's, it's KD's what's, supposed it's to what's supposed to happen when you play a superior team. No, but KD's one. supposed to buy you one game. Sure, well, well, great Probably. player. Allen Iverson would have won one game out of that series type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, but I think it's LeBron stupid. gonna get you one. I think it's stupid sure. though if you're really standing on the ledge that if he won one game you look at him differently. Yeah, wait a minute. If they get knocked out four one, it still is a bad look. Four mm-hmm. zero. I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. look, but I mean a sweep is a sweep. Dog. That's a like, there's, there's a reason why we have a term for this shit. And we'll just call it four zero. You got <laughs> fucking swept up out of here, dog. Yeah. Terrible look. Don't think it does anything. I think they make a good run next year. Sweep the leg. <laughs> so, um, where are we going? You still on Saturday? Uh, sure, Saturday? I wouldn't even look. I think I go through each game. Bucks and Bulls, I don't think there's much to say. Yeah, that was nothing. And, uh, the one thing I will say is in that closeout game, Giannis goes to a different level on closeout games. He does, man. He started eight for eight in the first quarter, had like 16, 17 points, and you could tell he was trying to get out of the game by the fourth quarter. Are you talking about the, you mean the first closeout game? The first one was last Saturday. They was up 3-0 and let the Raptors start to the win. The Bucks? I thought you said, oh, you're talking about Giannis, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm skipping. I'm thinking about Embiid. No, they got, yeah. they got a whole other issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was all I was going to say about the Bucks. I don't know if y'all want to add anything to them. Yeah, the Bucks had a business. Anybody, I don't think anybody really thought the Bulls was going to get them any problems. They did what they had to do. They're, they're the superior team. And once they lost Levine 
and Caruso, it was like, what are we even doing? Yeah, yeah. The Sorry. last game was not fair. DeRozan, you're not going to be Rangers to a win. It's not going to happen. They were triple team in DeRozan. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not going to happen. There's only so much you can do, bro. There's only so much you can do. So they got them up out of there. Then um, on Saturday, Sixers and Raptors was their first closeout game. They could have closed it out last weekend, but the Raptors won at home. First game at home. Well, I think the second game at home. Cut it to 3-1. They got the dub. Did what they had to do. Oh, uh, who else? And they won the second game too, right? Yeah. yeah. They did. Are they going to be the first team in, F- in NBA history to, to blow a 3-0 lead? Nah, because they lost. Hey, it's over now. Oh, it's over. They yeah. finished them off. <laughs> <Don't laughs> it, it was draft night. We know you won't pay it to <laughs> Oh, um, but uh, Philly's yeah. got a lot of. <sighs> it's a lack of heart. Is what it is. Hmm. They got a lot of like, let's just relax. We're doing good right now. Yeah, and they let's yeah. kick it back on in a little bit. And that's why I don't think a lot of people take them seriously. I don't get that vibe from Embiid. I think he's a dog. Mm-hmm. But you know, I got beef with Harden, and I think that's Harden's mo. And he just, he didn't play terrible throughout the series, but he didn't play that good. Yeah. But they end up blowing him out in Game Six to take care of it, which is nice because they would. They, I think they would have been in trouble if they're going to Game Seven. Yeah, you didn't want to do that. That's where the Raptors was heating up a little bit, but they lost Van Fleet too, yeah. so that kind of hurt them a lot. Yep. Yeah. But you know, Sixers got that shit done. Uh, Saturday we was talking about Luke was gonna come back, and he did come back that Saturday game and play. I think he almost had a triple double that game. Well, we had 30 of 10, which is crazy. But they lost by one. The Jazz stole that one still at home, which we, we I think we said that, like, Jazz have to win this home game. Yeah. They can't get get beat like this. And they did. They did what they had to do. Grizzlies and T-Wolves, the night game. That shit came down to the wire. Yeah, fucking Minnesota took it by one. Games. Only the last thing I remember from that series is Ja fucking jumping over somebody and, and fucking talking. Yeah, that shit was nuts. That I, shit was crazy. I feel like I've nominated multiple dunks of his this year as dunk of the year. But that's that, that's, one. that one's that's it. Because that's the last right. one. Because that's the last one. The most recent. <laughs> and recency and by. And it's in the playoffs. Yeah, it's going to happen again to somebody. It just move out the way. Don't yeah. even, yeah, once he go airborne like or tackle him, you just not going to get that close to the room. I, I'm going to catch you in the air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't let, uh, Just catch him in the air. The other thing is when that happened, they, I think they were down 12. Uh, and it was towards the end of the third quarter. Like they looked fairly dead and they were playing at home. Once that happened, like the, the whole game changed. Yeah. It, yeah. it legitimately was the momentum changer. And then at the end of that game, I think he scored the last 13 points of the game, finished with 30 or something mm-hmm. and put them to bed. They said out that. In that series, they're the first team to, they was down more than 10 in three games and ended up winning them. I guess Minnesota. But that's yeah. just the story with Minnesota all year. They just not don't have to be they're inconsistent. So they don't know how to play way consistently. Is it Golden State for them? Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one right there. Yeah, that's trouble. That's trouble. Yeah, definitely trouble for Memphis. I enjoyed watching Timberwolves choke. I don't really like them. Yeah. They're fun. I mean, they got good players and stuff, don't get me wrong, but I think it really starts with with Beverly. I hate him so much. Right. And the more you watch him in the playoffs. And he fuels that team. He gets dogged for four straight plays, makes one layup and goes to the, you're too small, yeah. locking the baby. Yeah. She's like, yo, you are not good enough to you're turn not like that, you bro. Go. You're not like so that. You're fucking annoying. You're averaging eight points in this series. Yeah. You're not like that. <laughs> he's probably going to have a good podcast when he's done playing. Probably. Probably. But yeah, he's not like that. So I, annoying. Yeah. Though. I think it's funny to see Draymond doing his podcast during the playoffs and shit like that. Yeah, that's just it's like, kind of weird. Just like, play. Yeah, you get your shit off while the players in your pod. That's kind of fly, though. I'll fuck with that a little bit. I mean, he, he gonna say that shit to their face, so I have no problem with it. Yeah. Like, the shit he said about Cat, like, just be yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's for real. Like, stop trying to get out here and, and be a trash talker. I was saying the same thing. He's never been like this before this season. He wasn't a trash talker. He wasn't loud. He was you don't even have the Pat voice came for around. it, though. Like, you don't even have the voice to talk shit to what people would actually listen to what you're saying, bro. Like, just play your little quiet game. Did y'all see that that uh, that clip where he tried to put some bass in his voice in the after game interview? No, no. Because <laughs> everybody knows what his voice sounds like, so he was like, um, 
you know, do what we got to do. <laughs> so I'm like, you tried to put bass. I'm like, bro, what are you doing right now? I'm trying to bass your voice out. We know that's not what you talk, how you talk. This is not I, know you, he's, I know he's dying for the next round to start so they can just forget about him. Yeah, he turned into public enemy number one. I think it's, it's pile on at this point. He's not who people thought. Is it pile on when you keep giving to it? It is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he is who he is. He he's, a, he's a very good player. He's not the. He's not a dog. He's not this Kobe figure right. that is gonna like kill an instinct out on the court. This is not who he is. He's he's very good. I don't think anybody can like deny that. Yeah, and it just is what it is. Then he brought up um how every time he had one of the moments like he did a silence the crowd so. joint. Yeah, like every time he popped shit, but they ended up losing them games when he was popping his shit too early, being a front runner as he is. Then you got to finish the game, dog. You can't pop that shit and not finish. <laughs> Play your game. Yeah. Yeah. Play your game. That's one of the things I'm talking about. Well, he hit a huge three with like two minutes left. He did. Like he's, it was, a, it was a moment. He celebrated. He gave him a little shush. It is what it is. But yeah, it is what it is. They're, they're done. They're gone. Grizzlies, <clears throat> Warriors coming up soon. Uh, Philly though, we didn't talk about the end of the, end of the last game. Yeah. Well, what happened? They're up 30 points the majority of the fourth quarter. I was thinking to myself watching the game that it didn't make sense that they still had their guys in. I was wanting Philly to pull their starters because I had a bet on Siakam. I was like, let this man get his last points. So they still got the 30-point lead, closeout game with six minutes left. Everybody's still in. Gets down, and and B takes an elbow to the face by Siakam on a drive. Mm-hmm. With three minutes left. Yeah. Three minutes left in the game. They're up 30. It's not supposed to be in. Why the fuck is he <laughs> out there? It was one of those Giannis type moves where he's trying to do the in and out dribble and then like picks the ball up across in front of the defender. Right. And right, just right. elbow right across the eye yeah. or right above the eye. Yeah. Apparently he had a concussion and a broken orbital socket bone or some shit mm-hmm. and is now out in death. He had called it after the game well, in the interview. He's like, I think he broke my face. Oh, really? I yeah, yeah. He that. said that, and they were like, they was laughing and joking, but he was dead ass. <laughs> he really, he really broke my fucking face. <laughs> well, crazy, son. That, they're done. I think he'll be back. Can you just wear one of those masks? That's what I thought too. I don't know. They've been saying that he's out indefinitely. Yeah. So I but don't know. Definitely if means right. Just whatever. It could be tomorrow. He's tomorrow, back. Right. He's they didn't say five. he was out for game one, but it seems the way they're talking like they would expect a couple of games. I thought I did hear somebody say their concussion protocol is like five days or something. Mm. I could be off. That could be three games. Concussion protocol. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither. Yeah. Fucking Caruso got like five concussions this season. How do you, how do you get so many concussions in basketball? Caruso's a wild boy. You hit your Kinda head. You're not sense. wearing a helmet, so whenever yeah, you hit your not, head, this shit gonna fuck you up. Contact sport either. Like it's, it shouldn't happen frequently. Yeah, it should not. No. Not not hit. Uh, I think it is a contact sport. I mean, you're not making tackles, but there's a lot of fucking physical plays that happen, like getting finesse, like getting bowed in it, the face. It's a lot of <laughs> shit happens like What's that. What's illegal? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he got, so the other the other worst part about that play is I need to see how come get 25. He had 24. He made the oh, he made the layup. Count. He made the layup on that play, and they called the foul on Embiid, put oh. him in 26 points. Sixers challenge it. They overturn it to an offensive foul. He loses the points. Wow, I'll be, I'll the that sucks. Damn. That sucks. Yeah, but I'm I'm so bummed, bro. I didn't think they were gonna beat the Heat. To be honest, anyway, the way that they just couldn't close out the uh, the Raptors and the Heat look like they're on top of their shit. Yeah, they dogged out the Hawks even without Jimmy and Lowry in the last game. Yeah, I know the Hawks game. are the Hawks, but. I expected the Heat to win. Now it's not even going to be a series. I don't think it shouldn't be. It might. They might four one. Playing the Hawks all over again. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, what can you do? We'll see. Harden playing by himself. We'll see how that goes. Maybe he'll turn the Rockets Harden again because he's by himself. <laughs> he may as well try. <laughs> he might as well try. That's to do their it. best bet. They're gonna need him to put up forty, <laughs> and they need Maxi to keep going off too. That's a fact. That sucked though. But yeah, it was. Three closeout games that Thursday night, draft night. Suns and Pelicans. Shout out to the Pelicans, man. They made that a series for the number one seed. They really did. They're fun. They were fun to watch, too. Yeah. I really like uh, their big guys, of course, the stars. But that little Alvarado dude is annoying as hell. 
Yeah, I like the kid. He was a he's a menace out there. He was doing Chris Paul, Chris Paul, Paul skin. You gotta love it. Hell yeah. Well, you give him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Valentinus is nice. Like real talk. If they had Zion that that series, that it might have been a different story. With, with, with Booker out, it might have been a different story. Because they were on the verge of multiple games, they just couldn't get over the hump. The I, Suns are the Suns, and they closed them out. I think he was. I think they should have played him. I think he was ready to play. Oh, but I think they should have played him. He was doing dunk contests and warm ups every game. Yeah, I Might mean, as well right. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's just what makes sense. Like, why? Why are you? Why is he even allowed to be doing this if you're not going to play him? At least some minutes. I don't get that. Did you see what he said yesterday? That he wanted to play? Are you ready to play or something like that? He's, they're talking about re-signing with the Pelicans. Really? I didn't he see said, that. Asked, and he said, I, I, I couldn't sign fast enough if that if the extension is offered because he can get a, a rookie max. Or something. Right, it was right, like right, five right. years, 185. Nobody's million. ever turned it down. Yeah, I mean, hard to imagine. Nobody's that. ever turned down a rookie That's max. That's some bullshit. Yeah. What? Because all that talks about he wanted to leave now that they made a nice run in the playoffs and now you ready, okay, couldn't sign fast enough. Look, the only person. <laughs> like, oh, you was ready to go three months ago. I swear, Carl was the only person I've heard say that he, he didn't want to be there. Oh, okay. I no, thought that was like, the real thing. I, I think that's just, I think that was just Carl's defense for his boy. But oh, okay. That's the only person I've heard right. say it. I thought that was a real that's thing. How, that's just kind of the optics and what you're hearing. That's what it looked like. And you're getting that rookie max for, for playing. Maybe a season altogether. Yeah, but at the same time, it doesn't mean <laughs> shit. It doesn't Not even mean, that, yeah. Him saying that doesn't mean anything because they can offer the most money with that rookie max. I don't think another team can give him the same amount of money. So, of course, he just signs the biggest contract in the way those NBA players do it now. He might still say next year, look, I don't want to be here anymore. Trade me yeah. <laughs> after you give me that max. I will say this. If he does come back and play, which he should. I'll just take a running back. That's cool. Keep keep him in the lineup, but um, they're gonna be a great. They're gonna be a good team in the West. I agree. They're gonna be a good team. They obviously show they got the pieces. They got what it takes without their star being there. CJ McCollum came into the fold and did what he had to do running point. Brandon Ingram is doing what Brandon Ingram do. Die KD. Put Zion in that mix. They got them a nice big three, so to speak. A nice three. Think about that starting lineup would be McCollum. <laughs> Die KD. I'm blank on his name. Be. Yeah, my brain is not be working. Out. Zion. And Jonas. And Valentinus, yeah. That boy is nice, That's too. A nice start five right now. And I think I said this a couple of weeks ago, but this, they supposedly have the Lakers pick for this year. Yeah, they so do. they'll have two first-round picks as well. Might be able to do something with that. They work like with some over I there. I like them. Like their coach, too? Yeah. Pretty decent. Yeah, he seemed really cool. Yeah. They were saying he was on the Suns team last year or a couple of years ago. Yeah. He played with him and coach. What's his name? Or with the Willis something. Something green, right? Willis Green. That's yeah. it. Uh, yeah, what about that Chris Paul close out, though? 14 for 14, 30 points. That's how you close out a game. Shit. Close out a series right Threes there. and shit, too. That's how, like he just got laid up. Yeah, yeah. That's how you close out a fucking game. He did what he had to do. Hey, it brought Devin Booker back that game, but he didn't do too much. They probably could have sat him because he weird. didn't really affect the game that much that game. But it was, was Chris Paul night. He handled business. Got them up out of there. He had to because if he kept on playing like he did the last couple games before that, Pelicans would have took them to seven, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like the Suns. This is hard for me to believe in the Suns, like, to buy in fully. Like, no, they're, they're the best team in the West type thing. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't buy that yet. I mean, when you didn't pay attention to the regular season, they were the best team in the league. Right, for sure. So. But, the, right, but <laughs> still. And they went be, to the finals last year, so it's like they kept it going. With that being said, they went to six games against the Pelicans, right? Yeah. So. I mean, hey. I'm just saying. Uh, it's hard for me to buy in. It just is. Right, because the Pelicans won too well? That and I They was playing good, man. Also, I don't, I don't put that Booker, much stock so. into. I think Chris Paul is a great player, but I don't put that much stock into him. Uh, I don't I, carry the team to a championship. I, I mean, you know. He's had his struggles. I mean, yeah, he's always got close and not been able to finish it. But it's like. As long as he don't get injured, Chris Paul is going to do what he has to do to win games. Like you've seen in that closeout game, he knew that was a game they had to have. They couldn't let he couldn't let them get another another win inside a series and shit. He had to close them out. So I'm not going to miss no shots this game. I'm just going to do what I got to do. Hey, maybe they can show me this year. <laughs> and, you know, but uh, we'll see. 
But yeah, they be solid. What's what we got? That was it. Oh, Mavs and Mavs close out the Jazz. Got them up out of there. Luca came back and been playing strong the last two, three games or whatever. I almost had a trip dub that night. Jazz, jazz are whack. And yeah. the Jazz yeah. are being the Jazz. So I told y'all I lost a lot of respect for them this right. season because they lose a lot of games they're supposed to win. And this series was no, was no different. They probably should have beat the Mavericks in this first round, but, you know, Jazz, Jazz, that shit up. <laughs> yeah, and much. fumble the bag. No respect, really. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to boy Jalen Brunson, though. Jalen Brunson. He's nice. It's a fucking baller. I like his I don't game. I know how many times I got to say it, but that motherfucker got the moves, bro, and a J. He just gets to the lane <laughs> and gets a layup whenever he wants it, it seems like. Whenever he wants. That's a tough one-two like punch with him and Luka. Star. He's like a, he's almost, he almost plays like a mini, a mini faster Luca. Like just the way he moves, he's faster. He got the handles, he got the J. Been teaching him moves. Yeah, yeah. Euro moves. Good one, two punch. They needed that because after trading Porzingis, you didn't know who's going to step up and be that second guy. And obviously it's going to be Brunson. I ain't mad at it. No doubt. No. I'm excited for the next round. We'll see what happens next week. <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't get down to talk about it, but. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll yeah. enjoy it anyway. We'll miss, miss a little bit of we'll big chunk of the second, half, second we'll round. Back. We know tomorrow, Bucks Celtics going down. First game in TD Garden. Then Warriors and Grizzlies. First game in Memphis. Should be a nice second round. Yeah, let's, let's at least just throw <clears throat> predictions on these series. I think we're going to be pretty similar on these. Uh, Warriors well, and Six. Warriors. Oh, prediction for the whole series? Yeah, since we won't be talking um, about them. Celtics and Seven. Celtics in seven. I can't. I can't Warriors agree with in five. That. I'm going Celtics in six, probably. I think Warriors in five as well. Heat in. I'm gonna say Heat in five. I think it be plays l- later in the series, and they get one game. Yeah, I can see Heat in five. Mavs Suns. Um, heat in six. That's gonna be a tough one to call. Mavs Suns. I don't think that one is gonna be that tough. It shouldn't I really be. Don't. I feel like you never know when you got Luca playing like Luca. Should be Suns and five, right? It should be. I'll give him Suns and six just to give him some respect. But we'll see. Yeah, I think I think the t- the top four are fairly easy to pick at this point. Yeah, on both sides. Should be. Seems seems about right. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I did Let's this music. It. Yeah. Music time. We talk about the new music. ATL Jacob. ATL oh, man, Jacob. Some of the fuckery. Uh, the, we can talk about Meg the Stallion real quick. Let's go over it. Let's do it. To Meg. They, I saw it, it was like teased or something Sunday night. That, yeah, yeah. That Monday. It, was, it was fucking weird. Like they dropping clips, but then you couldn't find. I was like, where's the whole interview at? Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't see it anywhere. I, I haven't. I still haven't watched the. I've seen some King. clips from it, but not the entire thing. But me neither. Wow. But they were teasing it Sunday night, and I think I shared it in the chat. I assumed that Monday morning was going to be like one of those things that Monday morning, that's all that you see on social media. Yeah. And it was like the talk of the town. I've seen people discuss it throughout the week a little bit, but the interview didn't really hit like that. Yeah, I think people are starting to sense bullshit. I think people might be bored with it, too. But yeah, I'm getting the vibes that this is like because they still in trial right now. I yeah. think it's about to end soon, supposedly. She's or whatever. just trying to get like the public of. That's what I was about to that. say. They he, they trying to she's trying to play on the public heartstrings and shit. Get her fake tears and crocodile tears out and tell her story and all this shit. And, and that shit ain't work. Because she can't hit. say anything back. He's got like a gag order. And it's like, damn, that's yeah. You can't say nothing. You that's got crazy. Find like, and all you that can't shit. Even defend yourself. But this tells me that this trial might not go her way. If she has to do this in the middle of the trial, because yeah, if this was evidence that you could use in the trial, you would have used it in the trial right, and not right. put it in a damn interview. <laughs> With no lawyer present or anything. Yeah, it's it's, very weird. It's obviously shit weird. that got thrown out that she couldn't use in her defense. I mean, she can still use it. I don't think I don't think she said anything that deep. Hold on. She said that. She said she offered him a million dollars. And, yeah, she explained the story, but yeah. like, <clears throat> that doesn't mean she can't use it in the trial. I think that's kind of exactly what that means. No, I don't think she could. She could tell the same story. Yeah, she mm-hmm. wants to. Yeah, she just no gave doubt. her side of the story. It's just, but it just didn't make sense. I agree with you. I mean, I don't think. I don't think she's doing this if she thought she had a strong case. They put and was going text to text messages from Kelsey and the shit or saying shit. I feel like it was like shit that 
if you felt this strong about it and on this side of the things that you have, you would be using that in the case of not put it in the interview in the middle of the case. Seems odd to me. But hey, no. Maybe did I think it's Did you hear her reason for why she lied? Oh, because she didn't want them to get killed? She said, she she said been saying she that. thought that they were going to, why they, they would kill all of you. Is that what? Yeah, she, she said that at the beginning. Though. What has just happened? She's, uh. This is, this is off the summer of. All race um, stuff on there. Yeah, but this is all the summer of the wish this, call shit. Even if this is a race thing, where has that ever happened? At, at least in modern history. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? That's the, she said that that is history. She told them that that she it was just glass because she didn't want them to kill all of them. She didn't want the police officers to kill them. What kind of sense does that does that make sense to anybody else? You're a victim, and you you're you're gonna say that you didn't get shot because you didn't want the police to kill. She them? thought she was protecting the people that had a gun in the car. But they're not gonna kill nobody if they're not. That's not how it works. We don't know that it shouldn't work like that. But actually, it does happen. No, like it does never right? happen. Work. It's been a triple. Cops homicide. shoot first, ask questions later. They see a gun, no, gun, bro. bow, bow. But nobody, <laughs> they didn't see a gun. That's the thing. Right. They can search a vehicle and see a gun. They're not gonna turn around and shoot you. For like, this is how it works. Uh, to me, that was like at that point. At that moment, Gail should have stopped the interview. <laughs> Say, Yo, we're not gonna name? put this shit out. Uh, Philando. He told him he had a gun in the car. Told him where it was. I, I'm on. I got license, and he got killed. Yeah, but it's literally it, what happened. <laughs> was it three people? Four people there? Like that? It's. It, it wasn't. Oh, again, we've seen these one-off type of situations where it's one person versus these are four. Five famous motherfuckers. Like, this is a different situation. We can't compare this to any other interaction with police on the streets. And that, like, this is a different situation. I'm not, I'm not sure the police are in tune with who Tory Lanez is, but I hear you. <laughs> they're, they're still normal people. And I understand. They, I wanted to have the police involved in yeah. general, as but a, then you get them involved. So then, no, yeah, that that I, part of the story. But I think she it. was using this as a, as like. A sympathy play. Yeah, right, right. Of course. I didn't want them to shoot us, so I was trying to protect everybody. But it, look, it reminded me of when I hear my daughter tells me a lie. Yeah, that <laughs> when a, you're trying too hard and it doesn't make sense. It's like tying up loose ends. Yeah, that we don't look, care about. I tell her all the time, let's <laughs> stop. Stop the story right there. So uh, hi you y'all. Tell, yeah, right. <laughs> you tell me how much sense that made. So how y'all feel about uh, when Gail asked uh, have you and Tori ever been intimate? This is this is the only takeaway I have from the whole. This is that was, that's the, the best part to me. Everything else is stuff that <laughs> has been being said for nine months now. Whatever it was since it came out. Yeah, we've all heard this story a hundred times. I already know what her side of the story is. Yeah, the only thing that mattered to me in the interview is when she asked you, "Did you have a romantic relationship with Tori?" And she's like, pauses for a second. She laughs. She's like. Uh, like a sexual one? Yeah, like, like sexual. Like sex- yeah. You know what the you fuck she's talking about. Right? And she laughed. And then she tried, yeah, and then she gave like just a BS answer and it's like, yo, if if you got a lie about even that part, I can't believe anything you're saying. Right. right. And how you it go looks to, terrible. Because you was just crying and now all of a sudden something funny in this bitch. Like stop. And she it. asked you if you, you let him hit. Yeah, stop. No, come it. on, yo. You know the truth. <laughs> you know what she was asking. Yeah, like a sexual yeah. one? No. No, that's like the R. Kelly shit where sex. it's like, do you like teenage women? You know, wow. What do you mean by what do you mean by teenage? <laughs> hey, what do you mean by teenage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do like, you mean on, by stop. teenage? Stop Motherfucker, it, a teenager. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty much the same shit. Like, come on, man, stop it. Yeah, you can never believe anybody's side of the story where where the person telling their side did absolutely nothing. You did wrong. nothing wrong. She like, said, I didn't get too loud. Own some shit. I didn't put my hands on anybody. Yo, say, say I was screaming on him. Say, say right, I was right, screaming right. on him and he went nuts. Like, he would still be the bad guy. No, in that her scenario. reasoning was saying that she was ready to go home and everybody else still wanted to party and shit. Yeah, I don't think that's don't a know. reason I, for I, somebody I, I, to I've shoot I've been me. in a lot of situations <laughs> where there was one in, one in the group that didn't feel like doing nothing, ready to go in. It didn't end up with somebody pulling a gun on somebody. No. It didn't end like that. They got this thing called Uber I heard about. Like, no, you right. could have went home. Get your own Uber. <laughs> you could have went the fuck home. Uh, look, I tell you. My, I, so many inconsistencies. I, I still know. feel like he did. I, I swear I do. But they clearly have no case in this. I think this was a bad look. I think this was a bad look. It looks desperate. 
It looks desperate and she looks like a liar. It definitely looks yeah. desperate. Yeah. I mean, that's just the best way to frame it. You're a liar, ma'am. Let's move on. It appears that way. <laughs> well, look, anything else on that? I don't mean to cut no, that off. All right, good. I ain't got none. New music. It was two big albums that dropped. Well, one really big album, but one big to the pod because we discussed Snow Cap a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah Future yeah. album and one No Cap does. were the two albums that I saw that were that were noteworthy. Which one do you want to start with? I Who's haven't listened album? to a Future album. I can't believe what? that. What? Oh, that's why you on your no cap shit. You ain't even pay, no. I mean, I, I just no respect oh, to the I god. I, I, I just haven't. I haven't had Never a chance mind. to listen to it yet. Of you course, I would the draft, get there. The draft I'm, I'm a future fan. So, but you listen to no cap. I've, I've listened to some of it, not as uh, deeply as I would like to. Because again, gotcha. it, to listen, you got to really. It takes some listens for no cap, but it take a few times through you before you get some of the shit that he say. It's just the truth. Now this nigga, what? Did you hear the Colts line? <laughs> No, no. What's, what was the Colts line? There was a line. We were setting up for the pod, and it was playing. And he says a bar that you'll just have to listen to on your own. Because as soon as he said it, like, I started laughing. Ma started laughing. I thought it was an okay bar. Don't get me wrong. But as soon as it happened, I was like, yo, that's something that Carl's going to be blown away by and tell us it was the no, greatest well, wordplay of all time. I, I, don't, I don't think. So, I mean, some of those, some of them you do get. Like, it's just like a, a, a Wayne type of thing. Like, some of the bars that Wayne say, you get right then and there. And it's like, oh, that was cute. That was, that was funny. You know right. what I'm saying? A little, little wordplay. But then he has other bars, too, that it just don't click until later. Like, and like I'll be doing something else and I'll be thinking, like, oh, shit, that's exactly what Wayne meant when he said that. Like, I know what you're talking about. I've had yeah, that moment I, before. What, what comes to me is that Gillette line that Wayne said at one time, like, I'm coming at your neck, like, some, some Gillette or something. I'm like, Yo, what the fuck does that mean? And then it's like, oh, fucking razor. Started shaving. Yeah, like, oh, right, 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 right. It's, it's certain <laughs> things that you don't really connect until. I'm kind of mad that you didn't get that off the top. <laughs> what well, the I fuck mean, us we be talking about saying Gillette? Well, coming at your neck. And, and aren't you Gillette Stadium? I mean, yeah, but he's got, I, you got I to knew know what Gillette. Gillette was before it was the stadium. <laughs> I mean, it could have been different things. I didn't know exactly what he meant. Like, uh, oh, oh, actually, I saw somebody shaving one day, like, and they were like, it was a, one of those scenes where uh, the person shaving them could have easily cut them or something like that. So that's, I don't know. It just, it, it took a minute for me to connect exactly. What yeah, to see the that. visual. I know but it's other, it's other lines that Wayne has in Facts. his career that are like that. Yeah. And I, uh, I one, one for me was he said something about uh, on her face like Lancome. And randomly walking through the mall one day, I seen like in the like makeup section. Right, a thing uh, like the brand is called Land Come. You don't, you won't know. I was that like, oh shit! Like that. You know what I'm I thought he said Lamb Come, and I was like, I didn't get that part. <laughs> and it just connects you. Like that's what Wayne said. Yeah, I do know what you're saying. And so that's what I'm saying about like the no cap shit. Like he he does that shit a lot. And I more, haven't heard him. Mostly he just that. puts like, I don't know, like um, he puts a lot of thought into what. To, regardless if you think it's the deepest bar, but you can tell that he's taking time and putting a lot of thoughts to making sure that at least what he says has some context or some substance to it as well. Something for you to decipher. One of the most, y'all might think this is a corny line or whatever, but I didn't get it at first. Like he said, please don't ever say what I won't do. I'll jump off a mountain. And I never got it. And then like Mountain Dew. Yeah. And then he was like, but the next line is the the next, the next line is, you know, I ain't talking caffeine. I throw away these rap dreams. And like to me, it's just like all oh, it's just dope, you know. What that's pretty decent. That's how. He, that's pretty decent. He, he like, does run, that shit me my so dude. much. Yeah, he just does that shit. But you know, <laughs> saying that. you not. I don't drink fucking Mountain Dew on a daily. And then I'm like, that's a good one. you know what I'm saying? It's just things like that that that's he says one. in his bars that are like, I didn't connect it at first because I'm thinking, oh well, okay, yeah, you'll jump off a mountain if shit get too crazy. Okay, whatever, you'll do anything. But then it's like, oh, it's deeper than that. It's like when you first said it, I was like, I just took it as like, you can't tell me what to do, even including like something stupid. I'll just do the right, 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 right. Yeah. And and then you know with the auto tune and all of that shit that they that be going on, and you just you just vibe into the music and shits. But again, he just got a lot of bars that make you go back and listen. Like, okay, let's do. Maybe you should do like a song with no auto tune, so we can so you can catch them bars better. Well, he yeah, he's. A lot of some of his videos were he's not he hasn't done it um, recently, but he's been putting like subtitles 
on his videos and shit so people can catch the bars oh, that makes sense because it's like I like that the all tune will like overshadow if you really try to spit some shit because you're, you're just rapping in auto tune like right. it's clouds up the situation when you're spitting yeah. bars you want it to be as simplified as possible so people can catch all them bars that you're saying but i get it he in his times so he's gonna make the music he make right it's just the the new wave type yeah. of shit but i mean he, like i said he got he got some lines and i i, I really got to get to like listen to this album it's only a couple tracks in, but i ain't really done like a deep dive in it i really like the intro though a lot i think paying a lot of homage to wayne on that and i think that was really cool like played on a lot of different <laughs> Wayne tracks that we know, uh, of course, Mr. Carter, Leather So Soft, and it's another Wayne track that he threw mm. a few bars in there from as well, too, so. Mm. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was cool. I hope cool we did it justice. I might have to check it out. Yeah, I, th I think that was a cool little um, little flip there from him, for sure. I was listening before we got started. What I heard was cool. I, I like him for the most part, what I've heard, so <laughs> I'm definitely going to check it out some more. Um, was it is it weird that he had NBA on the album? No, he signed an NBA. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I thought he was a Kodak guy. No, no, no. He's well, then is it weird that he has a Kodak on there? I think he's probably one of the few people in the industry that can, can do both, that. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Like, no, he, he cool with Kodak. Like, they, they like friends and shit. And then NBA, Youngboy, and Kodak don't have beef, per se. They're just not talking. Yeah, I thought they was cool, man. They, they cool. They're just not talking. Gotcha. Right. Type okay. thing. So it's a different It would be a lot more odd if he had Dirk on the album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, probably won't, yeah. that probably wouldn't happen. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's cool that they remain connected or whatever, and all of that. So yeah, good shit. We get into the best rapper alive, Future. <laughs> Future. I'm not acknowledging that. Drop the album. I think it's just funny to say now since they made the article. You know. I don't believe that like, that he's the best rapper. Thank alive, God. But it's funny to say. But One um, I never liked you. I seen the album cover and the title. I was sold. I'm in. Can't wait to hear what this shit gonna be like. And Future did what Future do. He went crazy, man. Nothing too crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, but it was Future. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got to take I appreciate it. it. I, I didn't know the album was dropping. They so put that on. Um, oh, really? Damn, for real? I didn't know it was coming out. Like, it, it's, it, it surprised me when it dropped. I knew he had done, done like, the, he had a single or whatever that was spinning for a little bit, but I didn't <clears> know. That's on Wayman on now. That Valentine's Day song. It's Wait, not is on that now. Nope, it's just a one off. But um, they put that joint that we thought was gonna be on Kanye's Donna too. They put that on the album as a future song. I like that. That shit hard though. I like that song. That shit is hard. I like I like most burning. of the features on there. I, I yeah. listened through it one time again this morning while we were getting ready and stuff. I can tell like if you like future, right? It, right it's going right, to right, be right. exactly what right. you want. I would imagine it. It sounds cool. I don't like a lot of the. I just I just like the singles. I, I'm sorry, the features. Yeah, I like the Kanye joint. Uh, Drake, both the Drake songs were cool. That joint with Future and Thames and Drake, that's one of them ones right there. Yeah. That shit gonna go yeah, crazy this summer. <laughs> I really like the Kodak track. <clears throat> that was good. I like that, that one too. I, that's the clearest. I, don't know how I, I didn't hear this. That's the clearest <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard Kodak sound. Really? He, yeah, he, he killed that hook. It's weird. He killed that hook. Like he really? sounds clean, like he's a clear, like he's enunciating shit. But I told you he, he can, like I told you I've that never shit heard is like it. a. Never heard yeah. it, especially not in his music. Like can speak proper, like, and use big words, like, on some shit where I'm cut at black when you see me. I'm <laughs> white. All like a, it's almost like an act, or he's just feel like he too gangster to even do that shit on a, you know, yeah. all the time type thing. I don't, I don't get it, but he's very capable of, of speaking and and you being able to. Well, most like, black people can put it on their white much. voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm saying like he's used words before. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't. I wouldn't think you knew what that meant. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's weird, but I, I got to check that out. I don't know how that flew under my radar. Yeah, me neither, son. You've been deep in the trap. <laughs> Jesus, you know, that's at wild. That point, he missed you know, the future Kodak trap. What? That's shocking. Well, we can. I mean, we can. Uh, we can re go over future next week. After you've heard it, what, what two weeks? You well, yeah, yeah, whenever we get back, so we probably, won't. we probably won't. We yeah, probably won't. <laughs> I know. Super, any other takeaway? Super solid album. He had one funny track that John Wagner and Young Thug, where the hook is, "I can boss a bitch up for a nut." <laughs> he just says that shit over and over again. That little watch ain't cost me none. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's your thing. Yo, know, it's like it's one of them like like that's high level thing. toxic future hard ass tracks that, that people will love after that shit was hard. Oh yeah, play that. <laughs> yeah, that play shit that. Bumping bump, bump that shit in the car. I can bust a bitch for nut. That's your king. <laughs>
It's hilarious though, man. Well, I saw a girl tweet out too. She was like, well, let's not forget future is a trick. And I'm like, oh yeah, for sure, but it ain't tricking if you got it. You know, you know, yeah, you, it's you, different. You'd yeah. heard that shit all your life, and like that's for for real. It's not tricky because this nigga got it like that. So I don't think he just, ever hid that. Right, right. He's not hiding the it's fact like, that <laughs> he'll buy you some shit. Yeah. But in turn, yeah, <laughs> you ain't the one though. Right. He just bought you a watch. Right. <laughs> so we both. It's a fair exchange. It's the barter system. It's all good. You yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> the barter system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes school. the transaction easy. Future's an Indian. I think in that in that joint he said <laughs> I think it was in that song or some shit like that. He said I bought some drawing watch. He was like, Yeah, that was the best head I ever had. <laughs> after that, I was like, yo, best head I had in a while after I got out of that watch. So I was like, yo, future funny, yo. He just be saying shit. It's hilarious. Shit. <laughs> I, I just fuck with like oh no, uh I, I just like future in, in general. I can't really put my hand on it, you know, exactly why it is, but he he that dude for sure. For yeah, sure. man. Facts. A uh, little Papa dropped an album. It was earlier in the week though. It didn't drop on Friday. It was dropped like fucking randomly on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or something. I don't like that shit, man. You listen to that? I did. I did listen this to that. This thing happened last them. week? I thought you had mentioned this album last week. It dropped like Tuesday or Wednesday, didn't it? Yeah, it was early. Like in the week. Week. I guess it couldn't have been. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The twenty-two song album, which I thought was pretty long, but you it's, mentioned it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's it's, what it was. It's really good, I think, man. I think, um, you know, he got some some borderline crossover type tracks on there too, um, and it's, I just hear him growing as an artist. I think he got some really, really good songs on there, man. Like uh, Kardashian X, I think that's a really, really cool track. Um, what's another one? Uh, Lil Mo, that that one's really dope as well too. I like that a lot, but I mean, it's, Lil Papa just make a, he make good albums to where you can just listen to them shits all the way through. He always has su- substance in his music and shit, talking about some real stuff, some, uh, life impactful things, not just like street stuff, but like just personal feelings and things like that too. So, um, I like, I, like I said, I, I like, I like Lil Papa a lot. So he, he got some, um, this is a good album for me. I'm, I'm I like him too. Bumping this a lot. Damn, Those no are two artists tea, you, you gave us that, uh, I at least appreciate. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, those two are, are two that I like. Him and No Cap. They're pretty cool. Not what I listen to all the time, but I could put them you on. Put them on and it's you're right, you're right. Fine. They're, they're fine. So uh yeah, I, I like the project. I'll be listening to that a, a whole bunch. We'll probably be I know every song by the time we get back from the beat. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still waiting to be sold on those guys, but they sound a little more of the, I, 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 more of the same to me, but Maybe they'd be all right. I got a I got a Definitely. slightly lowered bar. <clears throat> no disrespect, but kind of it is disrespectful. I got a lower bar for Carl because mm. he's put us on to so many people <laughs> that I just don't like at all. <laughs> that when he gives one, I'm like, yo, this is decent music. I think of them higher than I probably should because well, yeah, they make good music. I'm not saying their music is bad. I just, I just feel like it's nothing about them that stands yeah, out. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Well, I just think y'all need time to connect. <laughs> That's all it is. I just think maybe. you just need that moment, or maybe it's the song. I don't know, but it's, it's going to be on your own terms when it happens. And you can be like, "Oh, okay." I'm much better on my own terms. If you would quit trying to tell us that these guys are like the next greats, I think I, I would accept it better. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not it's saying like that Wayne. About, I, no. I didn't say that about. Any, I didn't say Cap or Lil Pop was the next great, but <laughs> well, I think they're really talented. When you compare you them to Wayne, uh, now the discussion that we were having Wayne. before we got started, you said that. No cap was like a better future or something like that. You you fix the well, words, however well, you said it. We were talking about this was the style the of what they do, and um, we were saying that future uh, no cap does what future does, and you were, mm-hmm. and Moss said that oh, I would just listen to future, and I said, well, he does it differently. To me, it's better than what Future does as far as like wordplay and stuff like that. Is it's way better. Like yeah, the the sound or. Uh, the style of which they rap is, is very similar, but like the context and what they're talking about or the, the amount of thought that no cap puts into his lines mm. is very different. And that's, that's what I'm saying about he does that better. I feel like cause he makes music that sounds like future and overshadows whatever wordplay you said he has to me. Cause like you're, you're still making future songs and we know future is not the wordplay guy. So I'm not listening to it thinking, let me hear what these bars talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but maybe it's not for you. I was going to say, for somebody that doesn't like Future because of his content and shit, mm. it is kind of a nice mix for me. 
Right, right. Because right. when I was throwing it, when I was listening to it earlier, I was, it was right after I just listened through the Future album. And whatever the first song I heard from the No Cap album, I was like, yeah, that sounds a lot like Future. Like just the sound of his voice, the yeah, auto tune or yeah, whatever sure. it was. But I do appreciate it has a little bit better lyrics. So I don't know. Maybe that's it. Wait, what were you, you were saying? You were saying something about if he's a future baby, he can't be better than future. Right. Yeah. Specifically. Did you disagree? You were saying they, they, yeah. they all future sons. So yeah. if they all future sons, why are you going to hide? Can one be better? I just, I'm, I'm not of that <clears throat> belief at all. I think, uh, you know, everything starts from something. Future got a lot of sons, though. So he about to be the one sure. that's going to be better. I mean, not always. Everybody, you can't stay the king forever. That's all I'm saying. And it's like somebody's going to take your spot. And uh, it is normally the, the person that you've been groomed for it or the person that's looking up to you. That's how it works. So uh, I think that is a natural progression, though. Yeah, that's like all they, I'm they, saying. The whole concept of like the student becomes the teacher mm -hmm. or surpasses the teacher kind of thing. Eventually, that's what happens. I think it makes sense. I'm not saying no cap is better. Yeah, but I think the idea aligns. Like you could be a son of some rapper, you know, figuratively, and surpass them. Yeah, I you mean, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. But I guess I'm just basing it off since Future came out. There's been so many spawns of him, mm -hmm. and nobody has still ever elevated over him. We're over ten years now. Yeah, nobody is still elevated over him. Like he's still one of the biggest in the games to this day. So it's like. Yeah, it may happen when Future takes a step back or something, but as long as Future doing what he does and dropping an album every two years or something like that, he's still going to be that guy. <laughs> right, but I mean, we're talking about Future now and versus them now. So I, like, I, I'm not yeah. comparing careers. That's why I like, like that. that's why I think it's, you know, it's hard for me to make those comparisons because like they got a lot, right. a lot of ways to go. Right. right. You know and, what I'm saying? But if we were talking <laughs> about Future back in the day, you would have said he'd been a one hit wonder type thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I mean, like, you just gotta wait for this stuff a lot of the times and, and see what happens next. Cause nobody <laughs> would have imagined we'd still be listening to the future today back in 2010. I wouldn't say that. Cause the future was doing shit, doing something different. The first time you heard of future, you didn't say that. Oh, this I, was, dude I wasn't be a fan of, of, begin, of beginning ago. future. Cause I ain't like the way he did his auto tune. When right. He first but, came you, out. You but he was, was doing something so real. different and where he got people like into him, like devoted off the top. I was like, Oh, he's not really going anywhere. <laughs> to, his, to his credit, though, throughout his 10 year run or whatever it is, there have been a whole gang of people that were like, that were being talked about the way we just said. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this is kind of the next fu uh, future. Or this yeah. Is so yeah. similar to future. Yeah. And most of them came and went. Yeah, exactly. So I think, I mean, credit to him on that part. Well, for so sure. it is, it is hard to, it designer. is hard to accept. Yeah. Designer was just like, oh, I am future. Yeah, fucking say something, rich homie. It was it was there was everyone that came out from the south that yeah. was doing that future shit. It was like another future baby, and they came and went. So that's what I'm basing it off of. Like, that's yeah, they fair. might be doing it well, but are they gonna take the title from the future? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a long feat to make. It's a, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not <laughs> saying, saying it's not, not something what happens, but. you're just gonna pop up and now future is under you. Then nah, it's not gonna happen. You could you, I, you could just tell that he's inspired, but it does yeah. seem like he's got a different lane. Like I would say the people like designer and the, the other people that you would hear and think right, was right, similar right. to future. It was like, they're also trying to make some club banger. Right. And that's just talking okay. wild, f wild shit. Right. That's not what like he does. He, he does seem it's to be real, at least like, more conscious, introspective and stuff. really conscious type rap and shit, honestly. Um, Which in that case, if that's the late he's going to, he'll never be big in the future. Because in order to be a future point. level, you gotta well, make bangers. I, 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 I never said I that's never a fair point. I never yeah. said that he was gonna be bigger than future. I, I said better. I mean, and that, and that's a, a, an opinionated statement. Okay. Right. So you usually go bigger. It means better. Not necessarily. Pause. But no, <laughs> that is. Like, that's what you said. <laughs> but no, um, that is like your thing. No, not me. Like, like the numbers. Choose who's you're, better. You're the numbers guy. Yeah, but I, I'm not. I'm not saying that he. Would or can do those future type numbers. I'm just looking at like the type of music that he's making right now, making that comparison to future because that's obvious and saying that, you know, he has more lyrical value. That's just it. And so okay. to me, that's. I give you better. that. I give you that. I thought you was trying to say he was going to be because it's like when you say you're trying to be on that level, you got to do that level type shit. You can't be the conscious, oh, I'm trying to get some thought into my raps. It's just different levels. That. 
Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. just, we'll see. But again, yeah, these days that shit don't we, sell we don't, as much. We don't make the choice going <laughs> forward. That's all I'm saying. Like we made our choice for future or whatever. Even if that was part of our generation, like we made our choice with that. Like okay, we'll anoint this guy. I didn't. Make but we don't choice. anoint the next one. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not up to us no more. Type thing. I think that's it is. A fair point. It's always about the fans. No, but yeah, we're saying the, 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 the you. Oh, like Come our on. age group. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah. You're we right. don't set the standard. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put young boy at where he is. <laughs> right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't make yeah. these decisions. Yeah, no, yeah that's, that's a fair true. point. That's oh, a good who point. the biggest artist is going to be. It's just more of them than us. It's just, we're, we die. <laughs> that's just how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So, well, um, kind of like, kind of like a, I don't know. We stay I don't necessarily agree with that because you're older longer than you're young. So I feel, I feel like if you want to have a long career, then you have to start appealing and evolving your music and just making everything for the kids. Type no, shit. yeah, right. right. But, <clears> but I'm but not I saying think. they make stuff for the kids necessarily, but yeah. they make stuff that's related to group. them for that great yeah. age group. And it's just like, again, it's just more of them than it is us. It's Thank just you. a. Once you get older, it's, it's just that you stick with what you like. You right. stick with the group that. They came up when you were younger. Because most of the people we like and listen to now, we start listening to them as kids. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. You stick but, within your own generation. Most people stick within their own generation. Yeah, so yeah. as we phase out, the new group is NBA and all them. But and I just, as those guys me, get 30, right, that'll be right, their group. And the new right. kids, they're going to be like, yo, that new shit is whack. That shit sounds whack. Because right. it's going to be like, yeah. hey. Just what you I'm there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to hear this rap anymore. We're going back to the 80s. This is not I was like, I shit ain't that old, bro. God damn. <laughs> when, I, like, when I was listening to that Pusha T song, to me, that's kind of like the one I said I love the production on, but his flow sounds, I don't really like his flow. That's a, like one of those outdated type flows and shit that I'm like, those kids going to listen to that. And that's kind of what they hear is that, hey, you there. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's the kind of shit that they hear when they hear that you shit. You gotta be comparing push to the soul. I'm board. not, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> trying to give you context or, like, or. I feel we say this high saying because he'll auto tune this shit out. Like that's it. why I feel like I can never, like, I, I want to constantly evolve with music and shit. Like, I want to hear what's new and then, like. Yeah, but you're just now getting to the point where it starts to change, in my opinion. What do you mean? Like, when I was getting close to 30. And then got into my thirties. I know we're not like super far apart. No, no, but, no, no. but I'm like two years. Before. Right, but I'm saying up until then, up until the last couple of years, I used to want to listen to who's the new rappers coming out. Within the last couple of years, I'm like, I don't really care. I think I think I, don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe you're gonna be the guy that breaks the mold, and you're gonna be listening to the 16 year old when you're 40. Maybe I that's just who you love are. music, but, but I don't and, think that happens. on another level. Like I love hearing something like or somebody take something and do something new with it. Like I, I will never stop loving that part of hip hop. Yeah, I don't like, think I've ever me. lost that. So I've always loved, loved to find. And new so that's artists. why I embrace all of these young. You rappers like to find new artists, but you don't like the new sound. Yeah, I do. I've liked Dirk for ten years. That's not necessarily a new sound. I mean, yeah, that's what everybody says. Doing. It's not new, but whatever. I mean. I feel like he makes the music that the kids like now. I think Dirk is still in that field to me. I still, I still <laughs> listen to Dirk as well. I think yeah. a lot of the people Carl will tell us about as like the new new sound of like teenagers. They're not right. teenagers though. These are they are adults. But uh, what are you talking? I mean, you'd be talking about guys that are like they're close. eighteen, nineteen, or something. And eighteen, you, nineteen, you, twenty. You got into them when they were that, and they might be twenty now or something. Yeah, but I think that's different than. Dirk is what a twenty five something like that. Dirk almost thirty. He made twenty something like that. Dirk like twenty eight. That would be my kind of point. Thirty. Yeah. He is newer. Like he is the current sound. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. When I think of like the new artists, I'm thinking of like the kids that are going to really be setting the tone. Well, now I put it like a. I feel like you got to do shit that stands out to me as a new one of these new people. It has to stand out because I feel like a lot of the shit just goes like in the mix of everything else to me. Like everybody's doing the same type of songs, the same type of beats, the same type of flows. Do something to make it stand out to me is going to attract me to the situation. That's my issue with no cap and no. But I know. told you what, what, what is <clears throat> the reason why he stands out, you know, and uh, the wordplay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, the, the reason uh, why Lil Pop would stand out is just simply because he has the ability, no matter what kind of beat it is, to make a good song every single time. 
Like that, that is his talent. He's not necessarily lyrical or anything like, or, or, or a degree where he's using a bunch of like metaphors and shit, but he's going to make a good song every single time on any beat. It's going to come out as a good song. And to me, that's talent because not everybody can do that. Uh, so I think everybody has kind of like the, the things they can do to, to stand out. It's just, it may just take some time. It may just take some time. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No debate here. Any other new music? Uh, nothing. It's nothing new. I guess I'm getting into my my thirty year old bag. But while they drop more about nothing mixtape on DSPs, I thought I was pretty hyped for that. I saw that on what now? I'm excited. Oh, for, it's a mixtape for everybody on, else. An album. But that's my favorite mixtape of all time, possibly. Yeah, I forgot how much I so love that mixtape. I've, I've had that on yesterday. my phone for years. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the ones for sure. But that is cool that he got that done. That should look fire. That shit was fire. Shout Classic. out to Will. Classic. Shout out to that boy. Don't need no disrespect, bro. <laughs> that boy Will, nice. Y'all see the um, tour got um, put out? Lil Baby and Chris Brown? Yeah, okay. I seen that. One of them ones tour? I seen that. I was like, that looks huge. Those tickets probably sky high. Sky high, Gotta bro. Be. Sky, sky high. high. I, I would love to go, though. I would. I'll be down for that. I know them tickets crazy. You want to go? You don't like Chris Breezy like that, huh? Yes, he does. Everybody likes Chris Brown. I don't not like him. I, just, uh, I don't think I would care. Uh, Chris Brown has so many hits. Uh, I mean, his concert would probably be, I mean, it, it's got to be great. Because first of all, he put it on a show. Yeah. Not like all the other rappers. He has almost rappers. 20 years of, of hits. Uh, of hits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like, I don't have any problems with he Chris has Brown. like four or five every year. <laughs> so, so, like, that's like major. Yeah. <laughs> Still. And, and no, that might be a light number that I'm giving him, honestly. Right. Yeah. Uh, I got I'll no just, issues with imagine. either artist. I just, I just don't really care. Okay. No. That too. Too. That will be huge for sure. Facts. For sure. Great for little baby too. I mean, hey, yeah, that's huge for him because uh, Chris Brown's fan base is way bigger than any other no, rap facts. artist could touch. I thought it was interesting because rumored it was rumored that last year when they was doing the um, him and Dirk's tour, and they he do he was doing a tour with somebody else, or he might even try to headline his own like big arena tour or something like that, and the tickets weren't selling that well. So now it was, group one. It was the group. Yeah, one. it was with Dirk. So now it's like, oh no, we're gonna put you in one of the biggest stars of the generation and go mm-hmm. on tour, and now you are gonna sell out arenas. <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, it's what you're supposed to do, but I think it just puts shit, shit in perspective. It's like, cause I think we hold Lil Baby to be one of the biggest rappers in the game, of course. But it's like if then the ticket sales will put you in a in a in a margin, then it's different. Yeah, it, like like I don't know if he's gonna sell out arenas by himself. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, get with a Chris Brown, you're good. So tickets are already gone. So, you know, shout out to him, making that move. Smart move. Yeah. This is stupid, but I mean we're kind of low on time a little bit. But well, did y'all see that stuff with the fake Dirk and Takashi? That shit yeah, was crazy. I did. I did. That is wild. And I then I legitimately I don't, him, you know his name is Perkyo. I did. <laughs> Perkyo. I did see that. <laughs> Lil Perkyo. I did see that. He do look like Lil Dirk like a motherfucker though. I don't think he looks like him at all besides the hair. I think he does super I think he looks exactly like Well, him. I mean, wait, if you just see him once he like See him and he start talking and stuff. He no longer looks like Lil Durk. Yeah. But if you like, if he just funny. flashes somewhere, like he gonna fool a lot of people. Definitely, you know. Maybe he Maybe. quickly put out the videos. Like, look, I didn't even know Takashi was gonna be there. I thought I was working with the other dude, and I kind of believed him. But then <laughs> I still, still, I, uh, they pulled the receipts. I've heard that, ass. Yeah, I've heard that they got <laughs> video of him like accepting money, knowing that Takashi no, so was gonna be there. It was Steve will do it. I guess yeah. called him over there or whatever. He's supposed to be doing some content with Steve. Also one of the note boys. Yeah. And uh when he got there, the dude uh, Steve will do it. I guess his name is Steve. Was like, uh, you know, hey, Takashi's here. He's upstairs. He said he wanted to to link up with you or whatever. Would you be cool with that? Do you want to meet him? And the dude was like, Takashi, he here. He's like, yeah, yeah. He said he wanted to meet you. He's like, I guess. I mean, you can tell he was like kind of apprehensive about it, but yeah, he yeah, agreed agreed you to in him. an awkward position. I'm yeah. cool with Dirk now. I'm acting like little new little Dirk. Awkward. Well, he won't be around Takashi. And then he, Tekashi, you see what Takashi did? Yeah, he put that jacket. He put on the him jacket on him, him with King Von on the yeah. back and shit, taking pictures. And this stuff. is just you know. I've been saying, I've been noticing Takashi is, is back on his shit again. He's just trying to build some buzz out there. And I see him talking shit to um, 42 yeah. Doug. He's trying to bait another rapper to go back and right. forth with him right. again right. to get his numbers back up. We play. see what the fuck is going on, Takashi. Right. 
ignore his ass, bro. Just continue to ignore him like y'all been doing. You got to. Yeah, at this point, you got to because he's just like he's just trying to bait y'all. That's man. it. That's all they're trying to do is get some sales and get, yeah. get his numbers running back up. So they're yeah. saying Lil Reese trying to box him. Yeah. A celebrity boxer. He'd be great for Lil Reese. I'm about to say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lil Reese is the he's guy that should, right. Lil Reese is the guy that should be going back and forth with Takashi. He's equally interested. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I'm he, sure he is trying to get in the ring yeah. and get some money. Yeah. It's not off of it. Dirt, else 42 point. Doug, any other rapper that Takashi trying to talk shit to, ignore right. his ass, but you're on another level to him right now. That's <laughs> the only way to do it if you <laughs> want to get Takashi like, did you just get shot? <laughs> Lil Reese did just get like shot up or something not too yeah, long ago. He did. He did. Why are you out here boxing? That's why his voice fucked up. That's probably why he ain't rapping no more like that. He got that like that Beanie Siegel joint. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. <clears throat> Shit all raspy, you can barely speak. Mm-hmm. What were you going to mention about uh, Johnny Depp trial? These clips have been hilarious. <laughs> uh, nothing much. It's just been wild uh, to watch this Johnny Depp as, what's her name, Amanda or Amber Heard? Amber Heard. Amber Heard, Amber Heard as his ex-wife going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, that flagrant too shit was oh, hilarious. <laughs> it just shows you that some of these bitches are really crazy out here, dog. She's a psycho. She's yeah. fucking psycho. Yeah. She's shit in his bed. She's shit, she's shit in his bed. <laughs> That's all I really know, to be honest they with said, you. They said, yeah, this, this trial is about defamation, but now it's about defecation. <laughs> Damn, I've been on that too. I didn't, I didn't see it though. I swear, I thought I was original on that. <laughs> Crazy shit, son. But yeah. the, the clips have been hilarious because Johnny is like, he's really funny right. on the stand. Yeah. Like they're yeah. doing a real trial and shit. And he's like, a movie about yeah, it looks like they're filming oh, a movie gotcha. out here. The, the lawyers like kept saying everything that he would say. It was like, objection, hearsay. And they got clips where he, he like, Johnny says something. And then he like looks over to the to the attorney real quick, and he's like, "Are, are you going to object? Is that hearsay?" And I'm like, "He's making jokes up here." <laughs> but her her attorney is awful because it was the one worst, time son. this motherfucker asked the question, and then somebody started to answer. The witness started to answer yeah. it, and he's like, uh, "Objection, hearsay." You know, the judge was like, "You asked the question, though. You, <laughs> I'm gonna allow him to answer your question. Yeah. You asked the question." He's like, "Oh well." Uh, uh, he was like, it seemed like he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. This shit is a hilarious trial all the way through. Though. It's funny it's shit. Really bad. Funny shit. Good stuff. Well, anything else here before we wrap up? I got the samples coming, of course. What do we what have? <laughs> oh, I guess that was basketball shit. We could let that go. The Ben Simmons shit. <laughs> yeah, we kind of did give him a pass. And we yeah, mentioned really his name, give, but yeah, give that guy any like fucking. I mean, there's nothing but negative. What a loser. Right? Yeah. What a loser. Sad story. What a thief. That's it. That's it. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Well, we got these samples coming, so stay tuned on the audio YouTube. We appreciate you. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Peace. 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 Peace.